Hello, everybody. I'm Chris Perillo, and I'm I'm standing behind the chair here. You can't you can't really see me in front of the camera. You can see my hand. I'm gonna do a home office tour for the year 2023. I haven't done these annually, but it's usually around the first of the year. And some years I've skipped because, quite honestly, I didn't think you'd be all that interested. And then it turns out you're very interested in my home office tours. What you're looking at here is my desk, and yes, the Tix clocks are still fully operational. They don't really tell the time so much anymore. Uh, that's unfortunate, but they're very pretty. They, they do work. Uh, this time around, I have two larger screens. They're curved monitors. I'm happy with them, or happy enough, because I'm able to connect to both my, uh, my Mac, which is sitting over here, and a PC that I use to run uh, streams as well. You're watching a stream. So this is the thing I really wanted to kick off uh, you know, this, this video with. I'm trying to stream 24-7 again. For real, in this channel, in this YouTube channel, youtube.com slash locker gnome slash live should be live 24-7. Now, granted, it may be in the middle of my night, so you may see an empty chair here, but here's the cool thing. The live stream in this channel, the live.perillo.com experience is not just me anymore up here. You see, we've got other people and these other people here right now playing video games. So if you play video games, if you love playing video games, if you love video games, if you love interacting with nerds and geeks, you can join. Seriously, like anybody is basically invited to jump in and start playing any kind of video game they might want to play. Or maybe they're doing something on the desktop, like uh, video editing or audio editing. Uh, everybody's on mute uh, by default, and you can see the little mute icons there. We're using StreamYard to do this, and uh, I'll get into you know uh, more uh, about StreamYard here in a bit. Uh, but people have been experimenting with uh, this experience, and I'm very happy, because this just kind of started the other day. Set your notifications. If I have your attention right now, before this, this whole room tour, oh my god, I... I got a lot, a lot of stuff to tour here. Before we get started, turn on your notifications, okay? For the YouTube channel. This YouTube channel. Turn them on. You, you press subscribe and then press the all button. And the reason why is because every day we send out a new notification uh, for this live stream. Because that's the only way to let people know there's, there's a, the stream is still happening. So you got to turn on notifications. You got to click them. Turn on the bell and join. Join Discord. Join in the stream. Join chat and help me kind of reboot Locker Gnome, at some point in the future, we're going to be building PCs. So, yes, tech, yes, geekery, and a lot of games. So, I'll even be playing games as well. And so, I, that, this is, to me, I think the future of this channel, because I don't really do videos that well. I've been having fun with the shorts, if you, you haven't been able to tell. Those are fun. Uh, but I feel live is really my playground. And everyone missed the 24-7 live uh, stream, so I'm, I'm, I'm bringing it back, or at least trying. So, if you want to see the 24-7 feed, it's on this channel. And you can join it. So I, I had to start out the tour like that because, again, you're gonna you're gonna be able to join year round. I hope this continues. I, I hope everyone has fun with it. And so far, in initial testing, uh, people have been having an absolute blast. I've been getting to know a lot of you. Hope to get to know more of you. Uh, and everybody, of course, is welcome to join. So here we go. Two monitors. Uh, the reason I wanted these monitors is because they're they're really for gaming. And I wanted that because, not, not necessarily because of gaming, I'm more of a retro gamer, uh, but sp specifically because of the high refresh rate. So I'm able to push 144 hertz on both of these screens, either connected uh, by way of a Thunderbolt cable uh, through a dock that's behind there. There's an OWC dock back there. You can see it. Uh, and and that, that is, that's nice. Here, there's, here we go. I had to pause for a second so you got enough brightness. I, I try to shove all the cables, you know, behind everything. I still got Darth Vader's. <clears throat> everywhere. I've got uh, one of these tripods that I pull out if I need to mount a smartphone. I've got the smartphone mount on top. Uh, back here, just in case I need a quick sticky note, I've got a... Oh, God, is this... Oh, dodecahedron? No. There's there's more than a doe there. Uh, some, some stuff back here that wouldn't fit anywhere else, like Darth Vader things, like uh, containers, and I've got an open container uh, elsewhere. Behind the desk, oh god, oh, I'm gonna reach, uh, I got stuff! There's there's the PC and stuff. Uh, I'm currently rocking an Intel Nook, I'm very happy with it, may end up having to upgrade and get a full-on gaming PC if, and only if, this Locker Gnome Live thing works for everybody, so as long as you tune in and jump in and chat and... and and, and game along with me, even if I'm not playing the game directly. We're gonna we're gonna have fun with that. And yes, there's a Discord server that I've set up as well, a public Discord server uh, that that would have information. Jump into the stream, you'll see the links there. Um, 
Anyway, so I've been happy with the Nook. That powers the, the PC, uh, what is the PC, that I've typically used with the uh, the Twitch streams, which I'm doing on the weekends now since I'm, I'm doing 24-7 on, on this YouTube channel, um, and, and I need the I need the Windows PC, and I ne need quick access to it. Uh, so these monitors connect to both, again, this Mac and the PC in the back. High refresh rate, very very happy with it. Uh, I've got some of the the uh, uh, the, the JLab earphones. I've I've reviewed these, although I'm, I'm not really great with reviews, but they clip on to the side of my glasses, and I love that. Uh, so you know I. I got a lot of stuff to show you, everybody, because this is going to be a long, long video. There's the PC keyboard and the mouse. Uh, these are very nice. Uh, Razer had sent them to me a while ago, and I use these. These are connected to the PC. That's how I know the PC is fine, is when the, the keyboard is illuminated. And, and inev inevitably, and maybe someone will want to build a keyboard in the Locker Gnome live stream here. Uh, yeah, that would be fun to see, I think. Uh, we've had uh, people modeling stuff on their desktop in the stream already, and I've only been doing it for a couple of weeks to this point. I want a full Arabesh keyboard. I would replace this with Arabesh, like an Arabesh keyboard, and I know they've made the keycaps before. Uh, there's a, a USB cable that's uh, hanging from this monitor connected to the PC. The reason why I use that is because I sneaker net uh, this particular uh, thumb drive, if they still call them that, uh, for uh, the uh, files that I might be printing on my person mini. Been printing pretty much constantly, 24 seven, well, Mostly, uh, ever since I got it a couple of years ago, the best review unit I think I've ever received in my entire life. Uh, I still love 3D printing to the point where last year, in 2022, if you missed it, I launched, uh, thanks to uh, the help of everybody who was there to support and is continuing the support, the team behind MakerDeck. This is a 24-7 stream on Twitch. So I pretty much have that going 24-7 on my TV, but you can join that as well if you're into 3D printing or making, or if you like watching people 3D print or, 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 you're, or you're a maker in general, that's on Twitch. That's Maker Deck on that screen. Uh, this is a different stream. This is the Locker Gnome stream 24 seven on YouTube. So I'm all about like live streaming, you know me. So a lot of what this desk has evolved into has really been um, kind of the evolution of, of using this room as a studio of sorts. Uh, so I've got a couple of Elgato key lights, I've got the uh, the Sony ZV-1, which I love. And if you see anything in this video that you're like, oh, where's a link to that? I'd be happy to reply as a comment with a, an Amazon affiliate link if, if one exists uh, to pass that along. There's the MacBook. That's the 16-inch M1. I have no reason to upgrade uh, immediately. It's ample. It's done everything I might need it to do. I just needed a ProMotion display. And I needed a high refresh uh, ProMotion display. And you know I've been happy enough with, with Mac OS. Uh, for some reason, another one of my vintage AT-AT drivers, and I say another one because I've, I've got more to show you over there. And, and of course, my original one we'll get to over there um I, I just this it found its way here and so i just i just kept it there because i could uh apple tv remote uh, a dunny that was uh made by somebody i use an iphone uh i'm not using an iphone here this is currently uh, samsung's latest model of uh, the s22 ultra but in a couple of days i will be upgrading to the s23 ultra and yes i will be talking about that live on youtube so this is Again, part of part of this is like when when I'm talking about Samsung's announcements or Apple's announcements, you know where to go all the time. You don't even necessarily need the notification. You just know to go to my channel and and you'll know I'll be live. So the cool thing about the iPhone connected to the Mac, this is the reason I need the Mac, I use it as a webcam, not just uh, when I'm using Reincubate Camo, which I typically will use on this particular phone when I'm streaming uh, onto uh, Maker Deck. So I use Reincubate Camo. Talked about that before on the uh, on uh, the the Pixel as well as uh, the iPhone. But right now, see, look what happens. So so there there's me. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm just gonna hold the uh, the phone here so you can see what happens when I move this way or I move this way. Oops, sorry. If I move my head, you see how the it's it's the it's it's kind of hard because I kind of hold it still. Here, let me move up. It's kind of trying to follow me up, or if it finds my face, it, it follows me down. It's using center stage. And so that's why I like having the iPhone there uh, as uh, as the webcam of sorts. Uh, it really it, it may not translate directly in this video recording, but you'll see it happen live. People ask me literally all the time, what camera are you using? Is that a gimbal? I'm like, no, it's an iPhone connected to a Mac. It's amazing. Uh, so back here, I've got a couple of uh, uh, Lego busts. I haven't been a full-on collector of the Lego busts. This is part of the newer series, this Darth Vader. And yeah, I have some water. Hang on, I got to take a break. Gonna try, try to shoot everything live to tape because I hate video editing. Uh, another reason I love live, 
couple of uh, Lego busts. This is the Target exclusive that they released. Behind there, I've got the uh, Xbox controller, the Darth Vader edition. You'll see me playing with that uh, when I'm gaming on the, the Locker Gnome live stream here on the YouTube channel. Uh, that is the new Diecast Chase uh, Funko. Uh, I'd say pop vinyl, but it's not really vinyl. Uh, but I, I recently had to chase that one down, uh, being Darth Vader. Some Darth Vader sunglasses sitting on top of some speaker. And that speaker is still pretty much an original. Um, more Darth Vader stuff. That is a smartphone. Um, you put the smartphone in there and then it, it, it oop, broadcasts. This. I got to be careful. When I touch anything in this room, it falls over. And then I got to like put it back. By the way, it's clamped on by way of this very, um, very, very strong uh, desktop clamp. And then this this is actually malleable, so I'm able to get it at the right position and the right height. I, you can use it either by way of Wi-Fi or wired, and that works with either Reincubate Camo on Windows, Mac OS, or specifically with the Mac OS uh, iPhone uh, connectivity of continuity camera. Uh, you're you're going to see a lot of Darth Vader, so I can't even begin to point all the Darth Vaders out. Here I've got a remote control so that when I'm uh, like streaming directly from the ZV-1, I can change the colors. So like on Twitch, like you can do like a redemption code. We'll have to figure out how to do that on uh, on YouTube as well. But that's typically behind me from from this camera pointed over, and so that's the I have I have some banks. These are LED banks. There, let's put it over here. Let me see if I be careful not to knock anything over. You, you see, I've also been uh, collecting a lot of dust. I'll get to these shelves. Oh, and for whatever it's worth, what I'm going to try to do this year too with shorts is, and I did it like the what's on my desk. I did like a, the, the, the YouTube shorts. I'm going to try to do a YouTube short for every one of the shelves in this room. So even if you don't, you know, catch everything in this video, hopefully you'll catch it in the other videos. These are all LED banks that basically uh, uh, are magnetized. I put magnets or, uh, to the top of each one of these. Um, so that that's, that's how the lights uh, work. Nothing wired there. I didn't really want to really want to get wired. Um, and yes, I'm on decaf coffee, so I'm, I'm definitely not wired now. By the way, same old chair full of farts. Uh, this is the chair that, 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 that's, that's been here since a lot, but before a lot of people were born, honestly. Um, uh, this is, this was around in the days of Iowa and I actually just went and re-glued a part of it that had broken the other day. This part has been re-glued. The, the support there. This part is a little loose and I don't sure, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to tighten that up any, but it survives. I've yet to find another chair replacement. I thought, uh, you know, I would have had an option a few weeks back, but they never got back to me. They make Star Wars gaming chairs now and I may end up uh, upgrading to, to, to that at some point in the future. Okay, so so I did that. I got the, There's a speaker controller down there. I'm missing, I'm sure I'm going to miss like everything. Oh, I got, I got space underneath for more Darth Vader's. Look at that. Can you believe it? Yes. So if I can't find other space, this is where Pixie used to sleep and sometimes Wicket uh, when they were around. Um, but if I get big pieces or some other pieces, sometimes they might make their way back there. Uh, nothing terribly special. I've got also uh, open um, spaces back here. One, one, one space there I haven't filled yet. There's some uh, extraneous uh, Star Wars vintage figures in there. Uh, in this bin, you're going to find uh, food that I usually pack for Jedi's uh, lunches because I do that every morning. You can see, by the way, you can watch me in the morning get ready, basically. Well, not like putting on clothes or anything, but when I'm getting Jedi's lunch ready before I reset the stream. Uh, this is a Samsung Galaxy Tab, a tablet that I use for um, NDI uh, broadcasting across the network when I'm streaming sometimes. Um, it's, it's, it's a nice thing that, I figured out how to work into my workflow. Not quite sure. I know if it's going to stick around. Um, I, I mean, it's it's nice to have, but it's not as critical as as the smartphone has been for me. Uh, in here, I've got uh, various um, non Star Wars figures, which have been you know fun, and I usually keep them together when I add uh, you know new additions like five POA GI Joe in there, the old mask figures. I'm not going to pull them out because that would take a while. Uh, in here, I've got uh, cards, like playing cards, all Star Wars playing cards. In here, uh, this is where I might keep um, like accessories for, for Star Wars figures on hand, as well as new Star Wars figures. Down here, I've got a bin. These are mostly up here, by the way. Uh, the Vintage Collection down here, Black Series. When I have open or extraneous ones, I'll put them there for now. In this particular Clone Wars container, 3D printing accessories, including a deburring tool. I think that's what they call them. Uh, you know, don't buy the Bill Burr tool. That's not the Bill Burr. You don't want that. You want the deburring tool. 
Uh, I don't have an extra hand right now, so I can't open the container, but the best tool that I've ever owned in my entire life, because it helps a lot with 3D printing, uh, picks, screwdrivers, lighters, uh, all sorts of stuff in there, and I'm able to to kick it back there, keep it out of the way. Uh, underneath, you probably see this desk calendar for this year. I went with uh, the brand new Garbage Pail Kids, and I decided that I'm not going to tear off the sheets because this is kind of like a collection in and of itself. And so what I've been doing, and I haven't been doing it every day, but uh, I'll take a picture of like, let's say January 24th, it's Global Belly Laugh Day. And I'll take a picture and post it in social uh, on Twitter and of course Mastodon, where Mastodon gets far more engagement than Twitter these days. Do not count on Twitter. If you, if you want to... If you seriously want to know and get a hold of me at any point in time, don't count directly on social media. Join our Discord server. Like, turn on your notifications. Turn on role, role, role reactions. Sign up for my email newsletter if you want. Uh, or just pop into the live stream and you always get the latest links. You'll know that's kind of a, a great reason to do something 24-7 is you know where to find me. Um, extra tools here, including my, my Yoda... Um, straps that I sometimes will put on the, uh, uh, these are 3D printed by the way, um, I'll put on the headphones here if, uh, if, if, if I'm feeling kind of silly, which is normal. Uh, there's the microphone. This is uh, something that I haven't been thrilled with. But the Beacon mic, I ended up buying it. It's got a rich sound. It's not been problem free, but I'm far from an audiophile. People didn't complain, so I stuck with it. Let's see here. What else do we have? Uh, oh, filament. Uh, Polymaker has been a great uh, 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 connection that uh, we've been able to make uh, thanks to me streaming on Twitch, making connections there, having Maker Deck going. So I'm constantly 3D printing and, and typically running through a lot of Polymaker filament right now, doing Polyterra PLA, printing not Star Wars right now. Not. Uh, I'm printing an Aki. Where? Where? The, where? Uh oh. What did I do with my Aki head? Remember the Snorks from the 80s? Hex 3D released a, an Aki model, so I'm printing an Aki right now on the Prusa Mini. Um, and uh, uh, hopefully, uh, I'll have an affiliate link for the Prusa Mini uh, at some point in the near future, too. I'm finally signing up. I keep the Tuscan Raider here uh, because when you raid on Twitch, you know, the, the end part, I go, all right, Tuscan Raiding so and so in 3, 2, 1. And then I go, ur, 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 ur. I don't have his gaffy stick, uh, just a beater. Right there. Uh, in this container, by the way, just got some 3D printed kyber crystals. Again, I, I have these things on hand just in case. Uh, we've got the Sabak dice. These are licensed, hanging from that. Um, the, the desktop tripod. I, I want to find better ways of um, keeping or dampening the, uh, the, the, uh, the vibration from the printer. So I've got not only to mitigate, largely to mitigate the sound, I've got it sitting on a cement block. I've also got it sitting atop uh, these... Uh, uh, I don't know what you would call them, like, it's padding, there's cork and rubber uh, to diminish the sound, but also the vibration. Uh, you can't even hear this running in the other room. It, it's, 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 it's sometimes very difficult to know whether or not it's, everything is going okay. But with the microphone on the desktop here, I've got these, these are loose, they're not uh, taped down, when I, especially when I need to move this microphone around. Um, I have them on here. I couldn't find an easier way of just kind of getting this done. People have recommended that I get a boom or have something hanging over, and I just I haven't found the right the right one really to do it. So I'm doing my best, if only to minimize the amount of cable that I might have to run. This is the best uh, way that I could do it. I needed power for the Mac anyway, um, but it's just it's just the way it, it's it's worked out at this point for cable management. Uh, more Vaders over here, including the the sound oops the sound pop vinyl Darth Vader. The, uh, one of the, uh, uh, the five POA Vader's there, uh, Vader head sitting on top of a 3D printed coaster, a Vader smartphone holder, uh, a taller Vader, one of the, the newer ones, uh, not part of a full on series, but, uh, you, you'll, you'll find these, uh, still out there, large galactic hero, uh, other, Va other Vader figures, including some black series. Like I get, I get various ones like that. I might thrift or have an extra one and I'll just stick it here. This one's 3D printed. Love this model, especially for swatching. Just found its way there. I always worry about having this Darth Vader here, and I may end up moving him because I'm afraid I'm going to snap his arm. In fact, I should probably move him now. I'm not going to find an, a new place for him immediately, but I just want to move him out of the... Watch me drop him. Here, we'll put you here for now. And I think... I want to say his hands are magnetized. Yeah, they're magnetized. So he, he'll actually... There, he holds on to it so you can... These are little Darth Vader paper clips. Not that I'm going to use them, because I, I don't want to don't use them if I don't have to. Uh, so we're going to do a little rearranging there. 
Uh, drawers. Uh, not, not much exciting in the drawers. I keep a lot of retro stuff in here. Some tools, including the uh, the R two D two measuring tape, the R two D two screwdriver, as as one would expect. Lego ruler. Uh, our, the uh, Star Wars um, tape dispenser. St- regular? No, not even a regular stapler. This is a Star Wars stapler as well. Uh, tape. Uh, the, the RBS translator I, I put here for the lack of a better place to put it anywhere else. An 8 bitty uh, classic controller, uh, the uh, the classic uh, Nintendo uh, Game Boy, um, the the uh, hang on. the GBA, right? So color screen and everything, the clamshell. Oops, sorry, you're not able to see that. So the GBA SP, it still works, and I do play it every so often. I had the Tetris game going the other day. Various. I don't have a full on collection of the. The cartridges, but they do end up here. Business cards that I might want to hold on to, though who uses those anymore? Uh, a, a custom Jedi printed... Um, um, it's a, a catapult. This is a 3D printed catapult. Brick separators. Uh, you know, oops, other tools. What, what am I missing here? Oh, it's the it's a Lego ruler. Got to cram that in there. Uh, underneath, cards that I've opened and played with uh, and other accessories like yo-yos, tins, small things, because sometimes Jedi will want to play with them. Down here, more tools, uh, uh, you know, including a way to, to clean off the uh, 3D printer bed with uh, isopropyl wipes. I found that's easy, easiest to do. When I do need to do maintenance for the 3D printer, there, there are tools in there. Um, don't really, I, I don't use a lot of what's in here, so they may end up moving. Um, these are, uh, larger files for when I need to, to do that. Um, it's screen cleaning stuff. It just found its way into that drawer. Garbage can. Place where I temporarily hold on to extraneous filament. Uh, I've also got the textured sheet back here for the printer, as well as something I should probably use more often, especially when I'm using glue. This, this particular, I have to get better at using that because my desk, <laughs> all these spots are basically glue. This desk has like been destroyed. Uh, in these drawers for whatever, so, ah, oh, Jedi. That's so kind of her, I love that. Uh, pens, pencils, uh, markers, uh, desk accessories, uh, lip balms, Star Wars, of course, uh, eye drops, not Star Wars. Uh, when I'm feeling stressful, I just squeeze a Mando, or I, I squeeze a C-3PO. Sometimes that might happen. Crayons, just in case. And then sometimes I hold on to old notes that Jedi's left. I keep those over there. Uh, down here, I've got, uh, you know, I've got a camera. Sometimes Jedi wants to use it. Uh, other things have made their way into this drawer uh, that didn't go anywhere else. And so I know I need to reconfigure this drawer because it, it's, it's kind of been a catch-all for certain things. Then I have uh, down here usually paper, um, and I keep Kleenexes because when I sneeze because of allergies, I need to pull that out quickly. Uh, usually office supplies will find their way down there, uh, I, I, like Star Wars stuff that I might pick up, uh, you know, like pens, pencils, pads, and what have you. Now these are new. Uh, oh wait, hang on. I, did, I need to show you something else back here. I also have my galactic walls. These are Star Wars walls, Imperial walls, like Death Star walls. That uh, when I'm doing toy photography in this room, I just pull it out, put it on the desk. Usually put this uh, this black, uh, this would be plexiglass underneath it to give it a nice shine. And then I've got the Darth Vader clipboard there as well. So that's where that slides in. This is what I was going to say. This is new uh, as of a couple weeks ago. I realized that I don't really use this space here, this vertical space. And so I, I was like, well, the only time I really use this space is when I need to get back behind the desk. And so instead of doing that, what I decided to do was just get these, you know, these cubes stacked three tall and then a three tall on top. And, and, and I'm going to be, I don't know what I'm going to be putting on these shelves. I have a feeling, though, this is the test. I'm, I'm going to be putting more bins here. And the reason why is because this is designed to move. Underneath, I've got those furniture sliders so that when I need to get back there, I can simply slide it out and... I, I need. To, I think I need to swap out the uh, the sliders for different kinds of sliders because they weren't exactly sticking the way I wanted them to. Muppet Me has uh, found his way down there, which is fine. Uh, you know, take it. It gets him out of the way. Um, the other spaces, like I said, are probably going to have these bins. Not sure what's going in them yet. This is another new acquisition, and Isla was just standing up. Let's see if I can get it about. Oh, wow. Can't believe I did that. Um, this is a perfect light box that, again, I've been needing for quite some time. But where where would I put it? Like, where, you know, I don't want to just be folding it up like you can do here. It's portable. I want it just to be readily accessible. So this light box has a trigger down here, right there. And look at that. So now I've got a light box right here. There's a diffuser flap, really cheap, uh, like thirty bucks. 10 by 10, so it fits within the cube very well. It also came with like these um, 
like, uh, I don't know what you call these, to bounce the light reflectors? Is that what you call them? I am clearly not a shutter bug. Uh, I know enough to be dangerous. It also has, I'm probably going to knock Isla over, different backdrops. Although I found the best backdrop to use is typically has typically been white because you don't get that white band in the back, and I'm not really using any other extraneous lighting. Uh, but this has been great, even having it for the past couple of weeks. And then what I'm probably going to do is pick up, uh, I just got another one of these um, last night. This is a, a, a device that allows you to either have a single color light for additional light. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to be potentially picking up more. It does multicolor. It's got different, uh, different modes. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking about getting more of these to place in other shelves. See, normally that's dark. I'm thinking about buying a ton of these and basically outfitting them like, you know, over here or over here. And, and, and going that direction because otherwise I don't want to be stringing I don't want to be stringing these things everywhere because that'd be crazy. Okay, so anyway, that is a new addition. Love that it's here. Love that it's accessible. Uh, Darth Vader refrigerator on top. Sorry if you didn't get a quick view. Let me turn that off. All right, we haven't even like moved out. It's been like how long? And I haven't even moved out of the spot basically. Um, so in here, as I showed you in the shorts the other day, I, I have to go in, I have to reorganize, but I've got like the cantina creatures. Uh, most of them are still carded, but the loose ones that I might get like thrifting or pickups, uh, the cantina creatures have gone in here. And so, like I said, what I'm thinking about doing is basically uh, getting potentially more of these bins, placing them up here, re-optimizing the space, potentially uh, getting more space. And here, as you may have seen in the, the recent short, is the Java creatures, the Java uh, uh, denizens. Uh, and I know I can, again, I can get more space. I can optimize for space, especially for the carded ones. Uh, on top of the hutch, we have a lot of the 3D printed Vaders, which at some point I'm probably going to go and make rainbow. So that's a, that's been a new addition over the past year. Uh, a couple of the jumbo Vaders included uh, the new, uh, Macquarie Vader. And I got a, an extra one of him that I'm thinking about opening. A couple of the uh, uh, the vintage uh, Star Wars figures, including the 12-back Vader, uh, the Black Series Vader. I don't have, obviously, acrylic on all of them. Uh, other Vaders, clearly. Vader, 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 Vader. Basically, it's like, hey, I, I've got something I gotta put somewhere. Where do I stick it? And then it, and then it goes somewhere that I, that I can find a place. Hence, you know, normally, when I started doing the pop vinyl, they were, like, over there, and then they started to migrate everywhere else. So... That's just the way it's going to be, at least for now, or if and when I, I ultimately have to move. All right, so let's uh, let's move this direction. I've got a sound sound a subwoofer, and I've got the a Lego uh, flashlight Vader that I ended up putting there. Vader, um, this is like a carrier of sorts, pet carrier I think. Uh, that's obviously not getting much use. Um, what else? Okay, so I, it's a subwoofer. Again, I thought, well, I'm, I've got all this space here that I wasn't using otherwise. I'm like, let me maximize space. So I basically did the same. Let me back up a bit, make sure I'm not going to knock anything over. So basically maximizing this space. It's a bit incongruent, but doesn't bother me too much. So this these this one's not going to get moved. That one's going to get moved. So that one's probably going to see a, a more of the uh, um, the uh, cub, uh, cub, cub cube, cube bins in there. Um, this is probably going to see more of these types of items. This is a, a, a nice snow globe, a Vader snow globe. You don't see many of those, unfortunately. And a 3D printed TIE fighter takes about four hours to do. You think it's, it's very difficult to put together. It's so easy. Even for a noob, so easy. Cause these are parts that basically snap together. Uh, this, and so I've printed it in multiple colors and will continue to do that, especially when I find other filament colors that, that I really like. So right now, that is there. Because again, you got, oh, it's new shelf space. Let me put something there. That's, that's kind of what I do. Uh, up top, that is not 3D printed. That's a, that's a bust I got from somewhere. Uh, another Funko Pop vinyl made its way there. The comic style. Uh, Vader spatulas that I got from Spatula City. Uh, an Easter container. I think it's a Darth Vader Pez back there. Uh, there's the Vader refrigerator not plugged in. Uh, the fi Special Edition 500 figure in that container. Uh, some Vader tissues, uh, a bigger Vader doll, and I haven't opened one of that. Uh, the, another one of these, these larger action figures. And you can see that right there, that's vintage dust. That's vintage. Uh, and I've decided to mix both vintage and modern. Uh, it's a Darth Vader bank, Darth Vader Stein. That's, uh, that's, that's a really expensive one, too, so I'm very happy to have it. Obviously, I missed the boat on having glass. Uh, oops. But, you know, by the time this is worth anything, 
I'll be dead. So, huh, what are you going to do? Uh, Darth Vader skateboard stuff back there. Um, there's any other, other Darth Vader things. Uh, curtains are still there and intact. The red curtains, very much so. And Diane has turned on the heat, and I am, like, baking. Uh, one of the Darth Vader um, Jack Specific figures, the bigger ones. I don't have all of the big Jack Specific, but I, I, I found one thrifting that some kid walked away with, and I was kind of upset about that. Uh, Darth Vader dog toys down there. Another Darth Vader uh, large figure. There's that second Macquarie Darth Vader that I talked about. I got on sale damage, so eventually I'm going to open him. Um, down there, Vader. Vader, Vader, Vader. Vader coins sometimes will make their way here. Uh, licensed and unlicensed, or Vader pins. Uh, Vader cards have made their way this direction for now. Um, I've got, this one was a fun one. This is like a, a, a Vader fan, like a Mr. Fan. Mist, it mists. Um, when Hasbro was doing their Mighty Mugs, that's their Darth Vader. Uh, the licensed uh, Darth Vader um, music box from Galaxy's Edge. Uh, some Darth Vader cookies. And yes, this is an, uh, a full box. There's a 3D printed Darth Vader uh, turkey. I'll show you again. The Lokai Darth Vader. There's a closed uh, Darth Vader Lego uh, set. Uh, the new uh, uh, Galaxy Squadron up there, the uh, vintage uh, Darth Vader um, uh, shampoo bottle, uh, Darth Vader watch tin. Up there, we've got some carded Darth Vader stuff, and you're going to see a smattering of like 3D printed things in with licensed things uh, as, as we look around, but a lot of this from, from earlier uh, streams, from earlier uh, uh, home office tours really hasn't changed, if anything I've, I've probably put the uh, uh, a lot of 3D printing stuff like here, there, and everywhere. This is probably the original Darth Vader shelf. So you, and you can see, uh, at some point in the future, I'm going to have to dust. I know it. I know. I know. I'm going to have to figure it out. I know it. Shh. Uh, this is the Darth Vader that kind of started up the Darth Vader thing eons ago when I lived in California. Someone gifted it to me. And uh, so from there, it just kind of exploded. Um... And so this was, uh, in, in the home office, this was always kind of like dedicated as the Darth Vader shelf. Then I started getting smaller Darth Vader things they, that, that ended up making their way down here. Uh, and I may end up migrating some of the smaller items to, well, I'll move, I'm going to jump here, to this shelf or these shelves, these shorter shelves, or potentially like moving them in front of the ticks clocks. That's a possibility. Not going to make any promises right now to anybody. Don't, oh, why, why, why are you doing that, Chris? Uh, it would also give me a reason or an excuse to, to get in here and really give it a good dust because, man, I know I need it. What, what I probably need to do is hire someone. <laughs> I, I got to figure out how to generate enough revenue to hire someone to come over here and help like reorganize and dust and clean up. Uh, as I was mentioning, those 3D printed Vader models to swatch, they just kind of ended up finding their way here. <laughs> It was space, but as you can see, a lot of unoptimized space. So these may end up uh, moving at some point in the future. Um, there's the uh, Christopher Miller drawing that I, I've kept over all these years. Some Darth Vader cards or pieces uh, uh, you know, for, that might have come from packages. In here, uh, the Funko Pop pins when they were doing them. A 3D printer, a 3D printed from uh, Joel, 3D printer nerd, uh, printing nerd. Um, he did that for me. Dave Prouse's having written my name there. I cut that out from the envelope that he sent when I got some autograph stuff. Uh, another Funko Pop vinyl that I probably got thrifting there. Darth Vader cards. Darth Vader this, that, and the other thing. The the Galaxy's Edge puzzle. Um, coaster, some vintage figures. I, I don't know. It's like I get them like, oh, it's kind of cool. I don't want to put it away. And I'm like, oh, I'll just put it here. So Hammerhead was the last vintage uh, item, vintage figure that I needed to get to complete my childhood collection. So he, he kind of holds a special place in my heart. And I always loved Klaatu, one of my favorite Return of the Jedi figures. That's the reason why he's out there. Um, a Tactics, probably thrifted. There's the Darth Vader, like, posable doll, fi posable figurine from Galaxy's Edge. A Darth Vader Transformer back there. In here, uh, more Star Wars figures in the Stormtrooper bins, as well as some Star Wars figures that I could eventually open. Uh, or sorry, yeah, Star Wars for sure. Uh, baggies down here, some Lego sets that uh, you know I want to be able to put together. But when I need to, you know, air, air dust or some Star Wars paper towels or what have you, I can come in here and grab them. They're typically down there. Uh, these again, I, I try to keep the I, I try to keep certain figures together so that I, if I'm looking for one, I know exactly where to go. Uh, back here before I lose, uh, you know, before I move out of the space, um, there's a fix him dude flexi Vader, the gingerbread Vader. That's a fun one. There's a 3d scan of me. You can download that. I believe on printables. If you want, someone sent me a, a resin Vader that I absolutely love. Cause I don't have resin. 
Um, I'm pretty sure that's resin because I don't think you can do that in FDM. Some Enzo Star Wars rings. Uh, this particular um, is a, a this light is for where to go? Oh, down where to go? I have like a little tea light that goes underneath this Chris Perillo. That's the dark helmet Chris Perillo. Um, there is a dark helmet um, a five POA. Huh. Huh. I gotta sneeze. Hang on. Hey, I'm gonna do it. Maybe not. Dang it. Okay, hang on. Let me see if I can. Okay. I was hoping the dust was going to go up my nose and then I was going to sneeze. Uh, that's not going to happen. Maybe it'll happen soon. Uh, Darth Vader comics. This is a piece of paper there. Let me move that. Let's get that in there. So, uh, so you can see the Darth Vader back there. And I've got loose versions of him that I've thrifted as well. The Macquarie Darth Vader. This is currently uh, on sale, actually. Uh, it's a, a, an exclusive, the Macquarie Dar uh, Black Series. And I pretty much slowed down on Black Series a lot th over this past year, uh, which is unfortunate. But if I'm going to focus on anything, it's probably going to be more like the 5 POA, the classic 3.75-inch scale. Uh, there's another special uh, Darth Vader, uh, the, uh, the white one which is the Infinities, I think is what it was. Uh, there's, there he is. In, in, uh, he came with a, cam a comic pack along with a, a Princess Leia, like an alternate uh, version of a Darth Vader. So they released a Black Series, one of him. You can see a lot of 3D printed things, including a 3D printed Chris Perillo. If you want to print your own Chris Perillo, you can. I am available, uh, courtesy of um, Play Action Toys. He, he made it. You can print, print one out for yourself free. It's on printables.com. I convinced him to, to go over there. Uh, so I, I printed a lot of white Vaders, as you can imagine, and love love 3D printing figures. Love, this is my favorite thing to do uh, of, of anything. Um, this one was kind of painted, the AT-AT driver. I kind of had to do a custom jobby on that. This is not uh, printed. These are all like pieces that you basically put together like in a little model. Really easy to do. You look at it and like, oh, it's so hard. I'm like, no, no, no. It's, 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 it's pretty simple. Uh, if I'm missing anything, let me know. I'm look. I'm just trying to find anything that, that really jumps out at me is something that I want to call your attention to. Uh, I have a custom Darth Vader Batman back here. That was a gift from Jasmine and Slav a few years ago when they were still in the Seattle area. I love that one. Uh, Darth Vader pencil. Uh, some oops. There you go. Oops. Some oops. How about an oops? Was anyone? Did anyone like an oops? Darth Vader mugs, wallets, glasses, tumblers, Valentines in the back. Uh, down here, another uh, comic Vader. I, I think there were only three of them available. Uh, that's got was it Tracta as the figure? I may need. I may want to get an extra one of him, and I'll show you that uh, as to why in, in a bit. Um, a lot of the three D printed stuff is moved to the forefront. Another one from Spatula City. Spatula City. Uh, Darth Vader pen that that was from Japan. Some Darth Vader chopsticks. Uh, Maker Deck logo when we got verified, which is awesome. 3D Printy did a Darth Vader, um, a, not, not, it's a model of print that you can make uh, that's modeled after the Star Tots Vader. And Star Tots were, of course, never produced, sadly. Figures that I would love to print. I'm trying to pull the Star Tots out. Watch me, like, drop everything. There we go. So there's, it was modeled after that. This is not licensed. That's the Galaxy of Adventures Vader. Actually, that kind of worked out. Okay. Uh, AirPods, Darth Vader case, a little Darth Vader's castle that you can 3D print, a Darth Vader chess piece. Uh, ah, you know, whatever happened to chess piece face? Uh, you know, I... I oh, okay, this is, watch what happens when, when, when Chris starts fiddling with things. Uh, Funko Vader um, uh, keychain. Smaller Vaders. They just find their way there. Uh, nice acrylic magnet of Vader. Um, let's see here what else we got. Ba chip clip. 3D printed, that's, I love the chibis. Uh, well, they're chibi style that, that Wexter does, so you'll see a lot of those. I just 3D printed this Darth Maul the other day. He just released the model, Play Action Toys did. Um, pretty easy to put together, including the lightsaber. Uh, various figurines. Uh, the Vader Disney key. I have the, I think the full collection. Oh wait, there's another Infinities. Okay, so maybe there were four Vader comics. Because I think I have them all. Uh, the Star Wars soap. Because uh, Squatch, or Dr. Squatch now has uh, Dark Skies Scrub. They have Star Wars soaps. I've printed this particular um, Darth Vader butts, bust several times over. That's an Eastman bust. It's in a trichromatic filament. So you'll see it red, green, and blue. It's pretty awesome. Tell you, when you get started with 3D printing, man, it's, the world is your oyster. I modeled this. I used EM3D, which is a, 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 a not a free app, but you can get the app on, on iOS, uh, done by Ethan's Dad 3D. And I scanned an Emperor's Royal Guard that I've got on the floor the other uh, over there. And if I, you'll see it when we get there. We're not there yet, um, but I scanned it and made it a model. And I think I made it available on printables. But it stands really well. 
This is a true little life scan. Uh, the only problem I had, because I'm not much of a modeler, is I basically have to paint the visor in, which is which is fine, and most people could. So that's a, a shadow guard, but I've also done it in this, this shiny filament. I just love the Emperor's Royal Guard. It's kind of fun. Um, some black ones that I've printed. These are pretty much all the figurines here are play-action toys, at least up in the front. This one isn't, but this is an articulated... Um, R2-D2 I found on printables. This is another one of the play-action toys. A newer figure. Come on. Uh, just, okay, just doing this with one hand's not fun. Um, the the Imperial Gunner. This one was a lot of fun. I end, I end up printing usually about 10 at a time because sometimes I give them away as gifts. Uh, the Dark Trooper figure is very fun to print too. I've done him in a variety of colors, although you may not see a lot of those in this room. They've spread to other parts of the house. Um, and and for, for whatever it's worth, this particular 3D printed Dark Trooper, I'm going to stand him up here next to where I currently have the uh, Vintage Collection Dark, Dark Trooper. So it's a slightly larger scale. I'm not sure if these figures are going to stay there. They just, they've just they been there for the past few weeks, and I kind of like them there. Um, down on this shelf, a Star Wars Slinky. Not officially Slinky brand, but Slinky enough. Another a Wexter Vader found its way there because I had the gray uh, plates for uh, Death Star tiles. Uh, a uh, 3D printed uh, stress cube, or what do they call it, fidget cube, and it makes different uh, patterns and designs. There's the uh, X-wing, and then if you you try doing this with one hand, not exactly easy. And a trichromatic filament, uh, Death Star there, Darth Vader mugs, Darth Vader cookie cutter, a light that I turn on when like we get a hype train on uh, on Twitch, or if I need a fun light, I can just pull it out from there. This is a resin. A, a dark helmet. I didn't. I bought that. I, I did not make it. Uh, I don't. I don't have resin. I don't want to mess with it because of chemicals. Uh, but that's where he is. Because sometimes I'll pull it out. Like people will ask a question. I'm like, oh well, here, here's the, here, here's that. And I keep him low here because I'm always afraid he's going to fall and then get damaged. And he wasn't exactly cheap. Um, let's see, uh, so Darth Vader skull mug, Darth Vader snowflake that I designed. I don't think I uploaded that. I just. I don't know. I think I'm the only one who's who's possibly interested in that stuff. Uh, more Darth Vader figures in the back. A lot of Power of the Force stuff, which is not as interesting to me. Uh, wasn't a fan of that. Darth Vader squeaky ice cream. Uh, that was a chewy exclusive. Uh, the uh, Macquarie Vader taller one. The Darth Vader book that that you know you can, you can take out and like piece by you can look at Vader piece by piece. Darth Vader squeaky. When uh, we've done this before, though, we need to get a, a, like a toaster oven separately. Melting filament down. And recasting in like uh, various Star Wars shapes, um, so that's what those are. This is the bigger one that we've done. There's a larger scale version in a rainbow filament of the Darth Vader, but uh, I, I, we, we, we had been using the oven, but I'm a little concerned about using uh, one of the ovens specifically for melting the PLA. Uh, Transformers. I didn't have any other place to put it, so one of the Darth Vader Transformers made its way there. Darth Vader. Um, case for, uh, there was chocolate in there at one point. Uh, Darth Vader uh, was in this, this play set with some figures. These were not uh, Legends figures, though. Uh, Darth Vader Poppets are out. Uh, there's like two of these available, just one of those. Uh, the other Darth Vader, I think, has got red tones. Uh, cookie Cutter. So again, I'm like, oh, there's, why don't I put it there? Okay, it'll go there. Darth Vader Easter Bunny. That one's fun. Uh, some Darth Vader coasters there. So some of the things are you're, you're, they're going to get moved around. There's see there's that this that that bust right there behind the uh, the, the Vader Santa. Uh, that's the same bust as here. So sometimes you'll see the same model just in different filament, which is kind of it's another reason to to to, to have the filament right. In, in my humble opinion, to have to to play with different filaments. Um, there's Darth Vader like Easter basket. Um, some stuff that you might go in there was like like just various figurines, small trinkets get spilled out and, and played with. BB eights have found their way here. Uh, not all the BB-8s, clearly, but when, when BB-8 was first released, I was kind of fascinated with the droid. And so I ended up building a micro collection of sorts of the BB-8s. It, I had no reason to, to move them out at this point, but they may find their way elsewhere. Uh, on this shelf, Darth Vader pins. Tons of Darth Vader pins. And when I say pins, I mean pins, as in pin. Like these are, that's a Disney pin, you can tell, because the Mickey backs. Uh, but uh, various Darth Vader pins have gone here. Uh, Darth Vader socks over the years, some Astromechs down there for now, uh, and then some Vader lights. Those have been there for eons as well, if I needed to pull them out. Over here, Darth Vader briefcase, Darth Vader candy holder, some 3D printed lightsabers. So this is a two-piece um, 3D printed uh, these on the bamboo, which I've got downstairs, the X1 Carbon. I'm just going to set it up there because... 
This one's all white, though. I did that one. And he's holding on to an AT-AT driver, because why not? There's that. Uh, there's a, another Darth Vader doll that I think I had thrifted. Darth Vader carrying case. I think this one's empty. Uh, various uh, Darth Vader containers here. In in this bin, I've got some uh, st the, the vintage um, uh, comics for, uh, for Star Wars. In that bin, there's still a whole bunch of Lego, loose Lego bricks. In these tins, uh, various collections for Star Wars stuff, including... Did you hear that? Yeah, you heard that. The Mighty Bean Collection. I was just talking about this the other day with somebody. I can't remember who. But th these, this is the full Mighty Beans Star Wars collection. In here, uh, a variety of loose Star Wars uh, minifigures that, again, I had thrifted so that they'd ended up here. In here, uh, some smaller miniatures, like gaming miniatures. They just ended up in that particular container. The Goofy Vader, the Tsum Tsum, um, other Star Wars pieces in there, including the Command Star Wars in the bottom Lego bin. Uh, Vader stuffies, they're in here for now. I mean, I don't know if I have a favorite Vader stuffy. I kind of, I slowed down a lot on the Vader mugs and the Vader stuffies. And I say that, but like, it's, it's just like, I don't know where else to put them. I have no, I, I don't really, I don't, I don't know where else they could go. If I could, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd re, I'd, I'd utilize some space up, up here. That's hence like the floating shelves. And uh, I'll get to that here in a bit. Um, but I, I feel like where I've got to go with some of the, some of these bigger things, like these stuffies, get them up and off the floor, uh, would be good. Uh, here we've got, there's a fire extinguisher. I keep that close by, you know, 3d printer, everything's safe, but you know, you, you should never know something could happen. I'm like, okay, I know exactly where I can get it. It's right there. Um, I'm not saying anything about electronics and the way I've got things managed, but it's always safety. So you got it's safety first. Uh, I have uh, loose, uh, black bricks here. Because, hang on, I've got to take my hoodie off. Diana turned on the heat and I'm like starting to bake. Um, anyway, I spill those on the floor and do barefoot brick walks here. Sometimes we'll do that on Twitch when we like hit a hype train or, you know, someone comes in and wants to do something fun. Uh, what else? Okay, this is that side. You're, you know where you're at. Um, uh, a larger Vader, the Egg Attack Vader, I've got there. Uh, the two Black Series Dark Vader helmets. I want another one, because I kind of want to keep those in the box, but I also want one to, to wear if I can. Um, the, the Geeky Tiki, uh, the Infinities Dark Vader, this is the one in, in, in the box. This is the, the white one that I was showing. The other, the other Over there, this one's complete in box. Uh, this Vader is the same Vader as that one over there. The tall one made its way here with the Mickey... A uh, hat, and then I've got some lanyards, uh, some smaller stockings hanging off, some uh, keychains or uh, uh, not keychains, uh, luggage tags there. Um, do I have the pass? This is where it's danger. It gets really dangerous. Uh, yes, I think I have the pass. Yeah, the Force Friday there. That was the badge I got uh, when I went to uh, to do the uh, Star Wars live stream in the Star Wars YouTube channel a few years ago when I did that for Disney. That was a total blast. Uh, over here, Star Wars stamp, uh, the other side of the hutch. Like I said, I've got, if you can see it, there's the nook. I'm going to have to get back there again because I'm in the process this week, actually. Uh, I'm upgrading to, gig I've got gigabit Ethernet, so I have to upgrade some of my ports to 2.5 so that at least I can get my extra bandwidth, uh, the, you know, up to 2.5 uh, when it comes in. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be getting back there at, at, at some point. <laughs> Of course, I'm going to have to move some stuff around because I'm maximizing space because, again, I'm not necessarily using that space all the time, so I don't need direct access to it, and I don't upgrade my network all that often. So some of this stuff is going to get moved around. Uh, started pulling astromechs because I started collecting them, right? You go to Disneyland, make me an astromech. Go to Star Tours, build me an astromech. Like, I don't know what to get Chris. What should... I mean, I'm not saying that anybody, anybody's saying, oh, I should get Chris something, but I'm saying... I just love this stuff because you can't find some of these pieces anywhere else. So a lot of the astromechs that I've picked up over the years have, have gone here, uh, including the, the individual pieces. Um, I, just, I, I probably need to get um, some smaller acrylic, and if only to, have, to bring them up on risers so I'm maximizing the space, uh, especially for the shorter uh, droids. Uh, there's the nesting dolls, more droids more droids. See, again, I get down here and I think, oh, I can get, I can get a small acrylic riser, bring it up a bit and then have, you know, again, more space. So I may be looking for uh, more acrylic risers here at some point in the future. Uh, some smaller Vader things. Jedi likes pulling this out. This is a little Star Wars, uh, like a centerpiece that plays uh, Christmas music styled like Star Wars. Um, there are more droids over here. 
The Big Bad Dad, that was a Hallmark mug, big mug. Uh, a couple of the M&Ms, this is the, the pack that comes with the Vader. Uh, one of the melted Vader helmets that I have, licensed, uh, not 3D printed. At least I think this was, wait, was this? No, this was a Mucky Chris. The licensed one is on the other side. So this is a Mucky Chris original. Uh, some tins, more stuff. That was resin printed. So a friend did that for me. Um, there is one of the first uh, 3D printed Vaders that I had. That one was from Heath, all the way in the UK, the Rainbow Vader. Uh, this is a data bank. This is a, a USB stick. I wanted to use that for 3D printing, but unfortunately, the way I've got the uh, the printer set up, it won't work. This uh, pink Vader is uh, from Matt Martin when he was a uh, head of the social group at Lucasfilm. I got that as a gift. He, I basically walked into his office and said, oh, I really wanted the pink Vader. And he says, oh, here, take mine. I'm like, oh, my God. So that that is very treasured. That is that is very valuable. There's the pink Vader um, uh, uh, Funko Pop vinyl. Let's see here. Uh, some cars would go in there in that case, but no, that's an empty case. There's also the uh, case for the race Star Wars racers down there. The Welcome to the Dark Side mat. Some slippers. I, ha I was really close. This is not the one I wanted. The one I wanted comes with a car that I don't have, a die-cast uh, Disney car. Does anybody have it? I'm looking at this now. There's my hoodie. I I'm, I'm looking at this now thinking, where could I put these stuffies in here? Do I? Where, where could I put them that, you know, where they can still be showcased? And the only thing I could think of is doing like a floating shelf back there somehow because I'm not back there, right? And that's just like space that could be vadered out. I, I don't think I'm, I'd have enough clearance up there and it wouldn't look very good above the uh, the curtain rod. Uh, of course, I got the floating shelf up there. Uh, when I was doing the Play Action Toys figures at first, and you can see behind there, you can see carded uh, 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 5 P, not 5 POA, 3.75 inch scale figures. But those are 3D printed in a filament that makes them look like either force ghosts or um, or holograms. So that was my that was really when I got into play action toys when I did that line. I thought, oh dude, I can do mall hologram. That's so cool. Okay, so let me see here. Uh tell you what, before I get in the closet, let me let me go over here again. Keep in mind, okay, so there's the live stream that is still going. I can't really I can't get into editing. Oh man. Oh, I needed that. Oh, hang on just a second. I, I've got to admit a few people. So they're, they're backstage here. Darth Gallum's added. He's, he just joined today. He just became a Jedi today, Thomas Carter. So see, I add people in the live stream. You join by way of the StreamYard link when you become a member of the Discord server. There's the, ch there's the YouTube chat. And um, I'm able to add you. So you basically, I have to know who you are. You sign up on a little Google form. You go to the Discord server. The instructions are here on the... Um, on the, the YouTube live page, and then either I or someone on the Locker Gnome team that's going to start to get rebuilt uh, will be able to add you to the live stream immediately, and then you can play video games or whatnot together. But anyway, he, uh, he's into, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say his name yet, because he just joined as a Jedi today, um, had been watching me for a number of years, uh, likes to do flight simming as well. So that's that's really cool uh, to see the amount of variety that that everybody brings to the table. Uh, so I love doing that. That is, again, this is the, uh, that's the live stream on, on YouTube. It'll look different when you go to see it now. Okay, I needed to get that. I'm going to have another drink of water while I'm here. Woo. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's a silicone mat. This is a pet mat. I probably need to get another one of these. I probably need more of them. Um, it was made for pets, so it's kind of got little spikies on it, but I just use it as a coaster at times. At times. Um, the horribly designed Apple Magic Mouse because you have to, you know, stick it in down there, stick it in. You got to stick in the lightning cable there. Oh, God. Ah, Chris, oh, my God. The most disgusting thing in my room. Is that coffee? Oh, my God. I got coffee on my mouse. Uh, I'm sorry. That's not coffee. That's decaf espresso. Not that there's a difference. Uh, okay. Anyway, uh, a mouse, Darth Vader mouse pad. I didn't show that before. I apologize. I'm going to miss so much here. Okay. Back to the closet. Uh, I was stuck in this closet with Vanna White's. Night after night after night after night. Uh, Darth Vader lock. Jedi likes playing with that. I don't know why. Uh, in the closet. Uh, Star Wars stuff, including the, the Darth Vader sled. I, I've got various paper plates. I need them. Uh, some, some various baggies here if I need them. Some uh, uh, different uh, hand sanitizer containers. I, I don't know where some of these things are going to go, but I love these little pocket things because they allow me to maximize space. 
Um, that was from the advent calendar a couple years ago, some thrifting stuff. When I get the new black series stuff, and even though I slowed down dramatically, what I'll do is I'll cut out the, pe uh, the pictures on the boxes and hold on to them because I find that the art on these things are just, is just spectacular. And whether these ever get used, I don't know, but I just thought it was worthy. The art was worthy to, to, to keep. I keep some of the duplicate stuff that I might be able to give away at some point in the future on this hanger. This is just a regular, uh, like you can get it at Target, hangs off the... The shelf there, uh, the Darth Vader mask, a redo, uh, some of the Darth Vader hats and stockings that I've picked up, towels that I've picked up, Darth Vader, Garbage Pail Kids. Uh, I used to have non-sports cards here, but these eventually became Garbage Pail Kids. The vintage Garbage Pail Kids there, modern the rest of the way. Uh, when I need new Darth Vader cologne or Star Wars cologne, it's up there. When I'm ready to put new um, dark Garbage Pail Kids, and I just, these are, that's Chrome Series OS 5 I just did the other day. Uh, some vintage Star Wars figures, extra ones. So, like, I'm like, oh, I need more Death Troopers. So I can, I can pull out that box and open them. You know, you, you don't know if you're going to need these things, right? Uh, some vintage combs. I put them here because I got some um, a while ago, and, and I didn't have any other place to put them because I, I don't want Jedi to break them. Um, there's a, uh, Galaxy's Edge, like a, a Jedi kit for, it's got food in there. Some Star Wars autographs in this particular book. Uh, that's, that's where that is right now. Uh, Darth Vader notebooks in here. That's all Darth Vader. Uh, some loose figures that can be opened. So I grabbed some extras of the Dark Times because this is one of the best vintage collection Darth Vader figures they've ever released because you can change hands. It's a beautiful sculpt. Uh, accessories and everything. This is like a huge value, tremendous value. So I knew if I needed any extras, I'd have them. Uh, Darth Vader on the cover of Time. Uh, we also have a Star Wars storybook there. Just ended, it's ended up there. Uh, some extraneous uh, Star Wars items that, again, I might be able to get to at some point. If I wanted to open, I needed an extra burnt battle damage Darth Vader. A couple of SH figure arts uh, stormtroopers. A... a uh, a uh, Sith Trooper. Can't have enough of those. I wish they had more of them. I really missed out on getting more Sith Troopers, especially the 5.75, or sorry, 3.75 inch uh, uh, Sith Troopers. If you have a line on Sith Troopers, specifically at scale, let me know. Some Star Wars office supplies in here, including notebooks, uh, pens, etc. These were meant, I think these were meant to be used. These were not. So these are original. These could be used. General office supplies like glue, some tools in here like duct tape and screwdrivers and everything. Uh, tools down here. Uh, again, more Darth Vader things. Uh, I, like Star Wars figures that I could open. Could. Whether or not I will, it remains to be seen. A Darth Vader vintage uh, cake tin. Uh, more uh, carded figures. There are uh, more computer accessories in this particular uh, uh, box. In this, this, this has got some extra 3D printed parts, hence the uh, it being in a 3D printed box. Uh, cables in there, tools there. So that's, I, I've tried to optimize these two particular bins. Uh, wipes when I need them, extraneous um, hit, hand sanitizer, which I've got to keep hidden from Diana because she flies through, she drinks this. I swear she, well, she doesn't drink it, but like she flies through it so fast. Um, so I'm like, oh, I'm always careful. Some Star Wars accessories, loose accessories go there. Uh, I started to accrue in a collection of um, uh, wacky packages, the, the miniatures, the emoji that were released a few years ago, the Star Wars emoji, uh, various Star Wars things, smaller collections, made its way into baggies, some stands if I need them. Uh, those are the new Funko Minis there. Sorry if it blurred out. Funko Minis, that was part of the uh, uh, the advent calendar stuff. Um, other star min miniature Star Wars collections that I've had, uh, including the Micro Force, including some Micro Machines, uh, Collector's Coins, uh, the Ewoks figures. These are the vintage Ewoks figures that I would really want to put out on display, but I'm not quite there yet. Uh, other smaller Star Wars items, the Hippos, these are only available overseas. Uh, Disney released a series of Star Wars miniature astromechs a few years ago. Uh, but So a lot of these smaller stands, smaller pieces, smaller things have made their way, smaller collections have made their way into bags on, these are like shoe, shoe ports? <laughs> What's the word I'm thinking of? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, those shoe ports are, 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 are there for that reason. Uh, the, unfortunately, um, and this isn't because it's too stuffed, the wheel that normally would clamp there, this is the, this with the with the house's agent no longer shuts properly, and it's I've tried everything. It's not because of anything I have in there. It's just the wheel doesn't pop up anymore. Uh, while we're over here, I guess we're gonna make our way back this way, huh? Um, I ended up putting stacking stuffies in this corner because I was like, hey, I've got space. 
cramp. Um, and so pets, sports, pillow, 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 stuffies um, up here. Darth Vader Pringles. This is empty. No food in there. Uh, this is this is not empty. This is full. Uh, Darth Vader uh, topper on the cup. Although, can I... Oh, I better be careful. Yeah, okay, I'm not going to mess with it. Darth Vader bank. Um, a Darth Vader... Sh what does it say? Oh, it's a, it's a mug. I haven't optimized this shelf yet. Uh, it was a newer edition. Uh, some more Darth Vader's out, including that Obi-Wan Kenobi, so I, I make sure I'm not going to open that one. A Darth Vader chocolate, uh, which i got to be very careful with. Some koozies up here. Uh, Darth Vader pet thing, which could very well find its way elsewhere. Uh, the Funko sodas, that's both the the, bob, the regular bobble, and then I've also got the Chase, so those two are those are important. Uh, Darth Vader Valentine's tin, although it's more of a cardboard box, and it's there because I couldn't fit any more in that shelf over there. We haven't even gotten over there. Uh, the first of two Something Wilds, they've got a new one with a pink Vader. I uh, haven't picked it up yet. Uh, some Darth Vader uh, candies, or at least box a, a, a box with Darth Vader on the front with Star Wars candies. Uh, I, again, I'm very careful. I, I'm, I'm very leery about keeping food stuff because I'm afraid that it's just gonna it's gonna break or like uh, break through the packaging and then end up like getting really messy and sticky. That is a concern. Darth Vader mug, Darth Vader scissors, tins, lunch tins, some cardboard things with like I, I, I'd have um, or some stickies which don't work very well, unfortunately. A uh, some Darth Vader custom Chris Perillo like greeting cards. That I got, I got that at uh, um, uh, on Disney Shop Disney. You can order those things. The Darth Vader bat uh, uh, from miniature comic from Galaxy of Adventures, uh, and I probably have that figure. I think I showed it. The Darth Vader Galaxy of Adventures figure, I think, was over there briefly, and I didn't point it out. But anyway, so there's the comic that came with it. Uh, cut out the Infinity's Darth Vader when I opened it. There, put that Darth Vader socks, tins, mugs. Uh, plates. These are all like mostly melamine plates. The miniature uh, Darth Vader. Hang on, I got a better idea. See, this is, this is what I love doing sometimes. It's like, oh, I'm gonna put that there for now, and I'll put the geeky tiki's together. See, you, know, some, you see what I'm saying? Um, then we've got another Darth Vader key because you never know. Uh, Darth Vader crunch. That's actually a T-shirt inside. One of the Darth Vader uh, Funko Pop vinyl found its way there. Uh, Darth Vader. This is an extra Darth Vader uh, vehicle. An Infinity Mirror. Darth Vader Infinity Mirror. It's kind of neat. Uh, that was a target. And in here, in this Darth Vader bin, it's filled with, I'm not going to say every Star Wars die cast that's been released, the vehicles, like the the the, the actual like car uh, car ships, as well as the regular cars, the styled cars, uh, the Disney ships, um, the Disney vehicles as well, uh, the regular vehicles. Uh, they all ended up in, in this particular bin. And I'm, it's, it's overflowing. Um, found this thrifting. Found a lot of it thrifting. I, these these I found at Dollar Tree years ago, and I'm glad I did because it's, it's these nice collection. This was a, I think a game, like a collector's game. That's a 3D printed um, doll, like a stormtrooper doll, flexi doll. But I, I love what I love. I just love I love this kind of stuff. I love the collection. This is just in a little bin of sorts, or sorry, a, a bag. Uh, yeah, it's a bag, a sack. What would you call it? Vader, Vader sack? Some Star Wars comics down here. The ones that come with crayons. Got some empty space here right now. I'll, I'll fill that up. Not a problem. Uh, Darth Vader video game controller. One of them, at least. Uh, other things, including this was a PlayStation um, portable back there. Uh, but it's not... That's not... I had the Darth Vader PSP at one point, and I sold it stupidly. Uh, and I shouldn't have done that. A larger Darth Vader item that might find its way elsewhere, because it's so large. I don't know if it belongs on the shelf. Or a shelf. This is a Galaxy, uh, uh, or uh, a um, uh, Galaxy's Edge Vader bust. Very, very heavy. Let's turn that that way. Sometimes Jedi comes in here and like touches things. Uh, the Darth Vader um, Viewmaster, the Darth Vader Pez dispenser. The Viewmaster is kind of nice. Big Darth Vader chunky magnet. I cut out the Honey Nut Cheerios Darth Vader B a few years ago. Um, Vader puzzle, Vader figure. There's a Halloween Vader back there. See, I, you know, I wish that... This is where I remember where the light thing I was talking about. I, I want to put a light in here so when I do the tour next time, I can just press a button and then go. Um, I suppose I could... Ooh, you know what I could do? I should, Oh, my God. Why didn't I think of that? To avoid overheating, don't record more than what? Hang on just a second. I got to turn this off again. Uh, what did it say? It said... To, oh, now it's not, now it's not going to show me the message. Oh, God. This is going to overheat. Okay. Um, maybe I can't do this. White Vader shelf, including um, uh, the... This is not a licensed one. Uh, mugs... 
and uh, a uh, shaky globe thing, 3D printed Vader everywhere. My Anakin Skywalker that I sent away for in the mail when I was a kid. One of the first black series of Vaders that you can remove his helmet. Uh, this is not. This is just a, a figure, a figure piece, a um, centerpiece, not a not a snow globe thing. Vader tins, the iHome home speaker, uh, the old Vader um, uh, Lego uh, uh, flashlight. I think uh, other Vader items, smaller ones, including toothbrushes. A series of Darth Vader toothbrushes up here. Someone sent me that watch. I, I love when people send me Vader stuff because I'm like, oh yeah, I remember when so and so sent that. Oh, I remember this. Uh, things fall over all the time. Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, the Darth Vader toothbrushes ended up on this shelf. So that's where they went. Okay, I better be careful because I, I don't want this to overheat. And I've already been running this thing straight for like an hour. On top, some of the uh, Darth Vader um, uh, uh, Christmas ornaments made their way here. Uh, I, I don't. I haven't seen a lot of newer ones, unfortunately. There is the uh, C-3PO R2-D2, the Yoda. I need to get a couple of extra the, of the Jawa, the Christmas Jawa to put up here. That'd be kind of nice. Uh, I've got the the ten million dollar bill. I'm I'm still I'm making my way. This is a reminder. Before I die, that's 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 my goal, is to to have a dollar bill with a bunch of zeros on it. I'm on my way. Uh, Darth Vader partied out. <laughs> Darth Vader uh, album, an original. I think uh, that's a an original painting. Someone did like vintage style painting, and I never found a place to hang this in here directly, and so it ended up there. Maybe, you know, I'm looking here. Could I put those stuffies? Would I have enough clearance? I might have to move some stuff. No, I don't know if I would. I'm going to have to figure that out. Uh, Stormtroopers 3D printed. Again, they could probably be placed in a rainbow array. Uh, and, and they would look better than just kind of random. Uh, Darth Vader um, statue. Like, the, the there's, a I guess, a big statue uh, somewhere in the world of not Darth Vader. And this is styled like it. Uh, the, uh, uh, not to be sacrilegious, but I guess I am, uh, Darth Vader cards mounted in there. Some of the Darth Vader big Pez dispensers on either side. Um, not that all the Pez dispensers made their way there. Various Darth Vader items there. This, this one, again, that one's not licensed, but I ended up finding it, finding them online. I thought it was kind of neat. That was years ago. Uh, Darth Vader geeky tiki that is plastic. See, see, see what I did there? See, I'm bringing, I'm bringing everything together. See, the, 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 the geeky tiki motif. Not sure if Infinity Vaders is going to have to move, though. I may have to find another place for him. Um, all right, so that's, that's that uh, up there. Um, M&M's kind of went I, in this. I guess this is where we're going. M&M's went this direction, including... Oh, my God, I do have M&M's up there. These, there's Darth Vader's on those M&M's, but they, they hopefully will never melt. I hope. Um, other, uh, there's another toothbrush up there. I don't know how it ended up there, but Darth Vader chopsticks as well. Uh, one of the first Darth Vader, uh, black series, you can tell by the box, uh, Gonzo Vader, um, that I had up here at one point, but I moved him back. Goofy Vader. Actually, I may have moved him here because look at, look, look at all this dust. Look at all of it. Just look at it. Here, I'm going to dust this helmet here real quick. There we go. See, look, good as new. Hang on. Good as new. So there's the Goofy Vader, the Gonzo Vader. Hey, they look better together. Uh, bobbleheads started here. So when the laundry room's going, like these things go. Um, Vader Bank. And what else there? Yeah, well, yeah. So that was one of the first Funko Vaders. Um, a lot of the Darth Vader vehicles ended up here, including the the diecast uh, uh, Takara Tomy vehicles, the star cars. Um, they, they've made various ones. You can see the 3D printed Vaders here as well. Uh, Hot Wheels, they've made a variety of variants here, including a chrome, the black one with the lightsaber on the side, a gr special edition green one, uh, the regular one, and this has got a different paint deco than that one. Uh, there's the, the, When Disney did them, that was Mater, as, as Darth Vader, Darth Mater, I think is what it was called. Um, other vehicles, Star Wars vehicles, the Darth Vader key, Hot Wheels, what else? Some of these are duplicates. Some of them are out. Vader's Little Princess books. I don't think those are the autographed ones. I think I've got the autographed ones in the in the other room. Sorry, my hand looks so white. There we go. Now, now there, there's normal. Not, okay, I gotta wait for the, the light to adjust. See, look, white Chris. Very white Chris. Uh, down here, my blue Vader's started to come together. 
blue things, and then of course blue. Well, blue. I got a blue K two. I've got a, a blue trooper. Um, you know, I've got a blue Astromax. So blue stormtrooper. Just so the blue stuff started happening here, including a craft dinner. Uh, this is the um, the the Canadian one. The American. Uh, I, I hate macaroni and cheese, but the American Vader boxes are up there. This is the Canadian one. The Stewie bobblehead. A Stewie Vader back there. There's the Disney Racer Vader. Um, got some space here, but this, these are like legacy shelves. So a lot of this stuff have has not changed over the years. The red Vaders kind of found their way here or the red things, uh, including there's a Kyber crystal container. I still don't have the black one, unfortunately, a Jawa that I 3d printed a nice filament there. Uh, this is the, uh, the licensed, uh, B2 3d printed him as well. Another one from specialist city, some, uh, smaller, uh, globes, some drink containers, snow globes, 3D printed items, uh, again, red, uh, not enough Sith Troopers, Black Series, uh, there's the Disney Series, the Toy Box Series, uh, the uh, Vintage Collection, and this is what I'm looking for, I'm looking for more, more Vintage Collection Sith Troopers, I would love those, uh, unfortunately, ITOR, or I'm sorry, Play Action Toys has not released a Sith Trooper of his uh, five POA styled like Playmobil figures, but that'd be nice, this was a Target exclusive Stormtrooper there, got a protocol droid about ready to fall over these are resin printed um a resin casted uh, stormtroopers uh magnet limb magnetic limbs kind of fun to play with jedi has fun with them that she interchanges them and puts them back she now knows the rainbow roy g biv uh bigger darth vader items including some in container um um what are those what are these these are christmas uh, christmas tree ornaments you try talking for an hour straight about anything and see how far your head gets uh, a rainbow um uh, astromech to celebrate pride i love that droid i've got a gold vader back there as well that that came with underwear i think um a, a darth vader snow globe on the other side not darth vader yoda but uh he's sitting here on the side uh, the big they just released this as an exclusive big lights and sound vader funko pop vinyl the big 10 inch variety uh some exclusive darth vaders uh, with the art so they released four of them, at least at, at, on Walmart. And we, um, I have not done a good toy run in years because our stores around here suck. So I have to pretty much get everything I get anymore online. So they're modeled like there's Endor, there's Hoth, the art, art, art series, there's Mustafar, there's Bespin. And then up here, this was released recently. I lucked into it because I, I, I didn't even know this was even out there, uh, but uh, an art series with the Imperial insignia on the Darth Vader. This was at Target I, I ran into. Found this mug uh, around Christmas time. I love it because it's got Vader on the mug, Vader on the light. I mean, it's Vader all over, so I didn't want to take it out of, uh, out of the, uh, the box. I got a few of these tins around school time this year, Darth Vader tins. On the other side, I've got the Battle Rollers in here. Uh, I believe this is the full collection of Battle Rollers when Hasbro... No, Mattel? Mattel was doing them. It's like a little vehicle thing. They're... Okay... They're, they're little vehicles. They've got characters on top. They're really kind of fun. I'm really into that. I really enjoy those kinds of uh, collections. Um, Darth Vader bath mat. Because, you know, if I, if I want to swim in Star Wars figures, I could. Chris, how much do you hate editing video? Well, I hate it so much. I, I, I don't mind keeping my finger showing in the, in the you know, uh, over the, the camera lens accidentally or, or showing you that I had to take off my hoodie or having to take another drink of water. Uh, hologram figures, these are all licensed at this point. Uh, they've obviously got different colors of, of hologramishness. Uh, I don't think it's all of the hologram figures they ever produced, but in here I also have, oops, the Princess Leia. Here, the Princess Leia. Hologram came with an R2. There's another, oops, come on, Key, don't. This is what happens when Chris starts messing with this stuff. Um, I ha Oh, there's the... There, I've got a couple of Emperors back there. I gotta be careful because I don't want to... I, I had it... I thought I had another one and it got misplaced of the Princess Leia. Um, look at dust. Mmm, dust. Uh, Jedi sometimes will come in here and play with the vehicle, so that's how some stuff gets knocked over. Uh, 3D printed Stormtrooper helmets, various colors. Filaments. Adat collection of sorts. The recent addition would have been um, the um, Force... Force, force rollers, rollers, not battle rollers. Um, I'm blanking on it now. Anyway, smaller adats have made their way here, all licensed, including a, a, the one of the vehicles uh, that came as a part of the uh, the Disney series that did that, that that happened. Um, yeah, they just ended up finding their way in here. Some some carded stormtroopers, a stormtrooper ten. I've actually got another one of those down here, and I think ow, ow, ow. 
It's even got stuff in it. Here. Here. Yeah, because I've got extra little, um, these are little uh, toys. Uh, they made, uh, Disney made these little uh, toy brands. Uh, what are they? What are they called? The, these minute. There's a series. It's a series called minute uh, minis. Something minis. I'm blanking on it right now. But anyway, they made a whole Star Wars series of them. This isn't even all of them. These are actually the duplicates of the ones that I have. Uh, come on, Princess Leia, get back in there. So, you know, it, it's 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 a fun house in this room. It's it's a fun room. No, no, no. I don't want Luke in the front. I want the stormtrooper. Uh, more stormtrooper stuff. Stormtrooper. 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 Biker scouts. Uh, Shadow Trooper, those are the, uh, uh, the uh, Hero Builders, I think is what they were called. Uh, but you can take the pieces apart. They made a Shadow Trooper, so that's that's there. Some smaller Stormtrooper things. Uh, Angry Birds, a little Fidget Cube. Um, I don't know how the Lego Spear ended up here, but <laughs> put it there. Um, AT-AT Drivers, uh, this is not the full vintage collection. 3D printed AT-AT Driver. And the one that, that, that uh, Play Action Toys and I worked on together, he did it. But I was like, hey, could you do it this way? What about that? What about this? And he did a great job with it. And this is, this is the actually, that's the prototype AT-AT driver. That's not even the, the final one that, that he modeled. Um, but a while there, I was trying to get a perfect AT-AT driver for my vintage collection. And so I just held on to the extraneous ones. Uh, and so they ended up uh, coming uh, and being here. Now, if you've watched the old... Um, office tours, then you know exactly what's in these drawers. Take a guess. Anybody want to guess what's in? Take a guess. Star Wars figures! So, I've got more figures. Uh, I would say that this drawer is largely full at this point. Oh, no. You stay there. The danger when Chris moves things around, things get knocked over. Um, all of these should be licensed uh, figures. I, I say should because there are a few in here that I don't know if they're actually pirated, as in, I don't know if they're, like, official toys. Like, they were really, I got them for super cheap, and they look perfect, but, like, there was just something that wasn't right about them, and one of them broke, and I'm like, oh, I wonder if those were officially licensed. But some of these I, I, I would have thrifted in, uh, in, and purchased, uh, you know, by eBay. Some of them I picked up locally, some of them I picked up from sellers. So, uh, clones, a lot of clones found their way into that drawer. Uh, this drawer, uh, again, a smattering, including, you know, a lot of the, the rarer variety of, of figures. There's a Han Solo there. Um, Battle Droid, can't get enough of those. Treadwell, yeah. Uh, there's another Wookiee. I say another, because you're going to see tons of those. Um, but, you know, no necessarily... No, here, these, this is the one that I'm concerned about. Like this, So there's a Hondo Onaka. But uh, my concern is... I'm going to bring this other Hondo here with the Quacky Monkey Lizard. My concern is whether or not these are, like official like i can't i can't really tell um some of them i know are but some of them i just got like this this pirate in such a way that like wait a minute was this was this licensed or did someone like really use a, a you know a perfect like uh, uh injection uh like molding of a, of a, of a, a official sculpt i don't know um that one's that one's definitely licensed i have it in a bag because they, they have accessories some loose accessories when i was chasing down some gungans uh, the, uh, um, there are some newer ones, of course, mixed in with some older ones, other clones here. Uh, I started when I was like doing X-Wing pilots, they just started finding their way here. Um, another Wookiee, Chewbacca, that was a solo Wookiee. And is that it? Uh, no space wasted. There's a, an art kit back there. Uh, okay. Oh wait, I got to do this up here. Um, stormtroopers, tons of them up here. And, you know, even in my early office tours, you could see I had like 10 stormtroopers here. And then again, over time, it exploded. And now that I'm 3D printing, oh, there's another miniature. That's a, a, storm, a gold stormtrooper there. That's those, those mini, mini brands. That's what they're called, mini brands. Uh, Command, uh, Micro Machines. Uh, I think I even have a couple of the, uh, the vintage uh, die casts in here as well. Uh, 3D printed, mixed with uh, figures, modern and, and vintage. Uh, the dart, uh, the uh, George Lucas's. In, when I'm doing camera comparisons, sometimes I'll, I'll focus in on them. Some Nutcrackers, a taller Stormtrooper. They just found their way there. Because uh, quite honestly, I use this TV. I mean, I've got Maker Deck up here right now. Uh, so different people 
3D printing different things. It's just, it's a fun thing to have on. Like, if you're not, okay, if you're like, if you've got a second screen or you got a TV that's not doing anything, throw up Maker Deck. Like, put Maker Deck on there and people will just be asking questions like, whoa, what's that? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, man, they'll start asking questions and what have you. I mean, this is like, it's the geekiest thing that I could, you know, ever possibly give to anybody is the passion for, for making. And I, I don't even consider myself that much of a maker. So if you have an extra screen, a TV screen, a computer screen, Maker Deck is running 24-7. Just keep it running. The Locker Gnome live feed is also running 24-7. Looks like we've got another operator in there who's who's, who's managing things. Oh, someone's doing some uh, retro stuff. Nice. So, like I said, you know, Locker Gnome, Maker Deck, we're doing some uh, awesome stuff for you to have up all the time. So, Stormtrooper stuff, including, oh, the Stormtrooper um, retro uh, prototypes. I'm seeing if there's anything else I wanted to call attention to. I got a lot of the Ahsoka Troopers. I, I'm not to army build, but just in case. Uh, right around the reboot of, of Star Wars with The Force Awakens, that was the Toys R Us brick. Kind of special because Toys R Us no longer exists in the States, and it's really sad. And I think I mentioned this before, but I haven't had a good toy run. I said that when I was sitting here because all my stores are closed. It's anger-inducing. Like, I can only go to really one store anymore. I have to get everything online. It's it, it, I'm really... I, I enjoyed toy runs and like one of my favorite hobbies has now disappeared. I can no longer toy run. It's 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 anger inducing. It's sad because I enjoyed it so much. But what's the point when the inventory is bad or you can't find what you're looking for or the prices are, are such that you can't get it uh, or you have to kind of like you have to pick and choose what you're going to get. Uh, but but the, the bottom line for me when it when it came to or when it's been for toy runs is uh stores have closed i can't they're no longer open right they're no longer around so i what's the point of going out when and, and making a run when there's nothing to run to um the the i i wasn't thrilled with disney's die cast uh series the elite series just because they were so top heavy i love the sculpts but that they always work better in the box i don't even think i have one of them out of the box at all. Um, I always kept him, most of them in the box. Uh, that was a special edition First Order Stormtrooper, the first one. Uh, there's a, a Stormtrooper, First Order Trooper there, a nice trooper card. So, you know, it's like, this room has, has always kind of been Star Wars. I have focused on Vader, but, you know, you've got different different uh, different things as well. And, and like I said, you never know. Like, like Chris might even, let's, let's see here. As much as you, you're looking at this saying, oh my God, Chris, I could never do that. Well, you know, I try to keep everything as clean and organized as I can, right? So even this even this is bothering me right now, right? Like, okay, that, that looks, there we go. Okay, that looks like it was meant to be there rather than just, okay, I feel better about that now. I know, I pick and choose. We all pick and choose. Uh, oh my God, it's dark. Okay, so <laughs> I started this how long ago? All right, so over here. Um, now, you y'all remember this, right? And the original live com camera was up here and it was pointed down. So hence a lot of the old videos were, were kind of pointed down this direction. That's why you have like that angle. Uh, the live camera then moved when I went to a wider uh, view, like a 16 by nine aspect ratio. Uh, the old Canon camera went there and shot straight across. So that you had more of that angle. Then the camera moved basically here and it shot that direction. And at this point, if I'm if I'm recording video, it's it's going to be on this camera, so it's shooting back that direction, or I might angle it that way, somewhat, so I can move, I can pivot this around on the uh, on the on the tripod. So the camera for the live stream has always been kind of different. Oh, and uh, as I pointed out for the uh, um, for the the live stream on, on YouTube now, the primary camera I'm using is the one that's uh, that the iPhone that's connected this way. Hey, while I'm over here, why don't I why don't I see what we're doing over here? Oh yeah, someone's doing some. Uh, is that Magic the Gathering? Yep. Star Wars VR chat, nice. Uh, some flight sims, an Apple II GS demo. Mm. That's the Locker Gnome live stream. Again, check out the links in the video description. Please join me on the live stream if you're watching this video, because there's so much more I could be sharing, not just the room tour, right? Which I love. I love. I love showing everybody these things all the time. I'm proud of this. Like, this has taken a not exactly a lifetime to build, but in many ways a lifetime. I've been, you know, into Star Wars since before half y'all were born. Uh, you know, it, where there's space, I can find places for things. Right now, my Darth Vader wheelchair, well, sorry, chair with wheels, is in Jedi's room. Uh, she's been using it to 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 because we don't really have one for her desk, so that would normally be here. Um, I've got a stool that can still be moved around. The uh, licensed uh, Sith cloak there that gets pulled out. 
uh, when I do that, if I'm doing something on live stream pretending to be Emperor Palpatine. Some bigger items have gone back there. Dog bed. Uh, uh, some, uh, uh, you saw the crayon, actually another crayon set that can be opened is in the, in the crayons. I know I'm kind of jumping around, but the crayons are really neat. These were Disney parks exclusives. I wish I lived closer to a Disney park cause I'd have so much fun. There's so many new, so many things that come out on a regular basis that I want. I want all of it. I cannot, I seriously like we, you know what? Everyone's got a vice. Some people love sports, you know, some people love gaming and Hey, don't get me wrong. I love gaming as well. I, you know, I, I like more like seeing what y'all do. I game as well, but the ga kind of games I play are, are probably different from the games you play. We all have different vices. And for me, collecting is just kind of a part of it. Collecting dust and Star Wars. It's, it's a nice combo. Um, when I, I first came into this office uh, years ago, you can, you can go back and watch the evolution of this office, as a matter of fact. Uh, that shelf was always there. The hutch with the lights, pretty much always there with this desk. Although when I came into this space the first uh, you know in the in the early days of youtube um i don't think i had the hutch the hutch was added and then the ticks clocks for fun and then i started live streaming after that but i think i always had that i always had that shelf i always had that shelf behind me because that that um is basically the same style i got it from the same place as the the desks i'm pretty sure i always had the the space for the uh, the tv and uh, these two shelves everything else was kind of added on from there uh, including this hutch this hutch was added on in later years as well and i'm glad i did because it, it gave me a chance to kind of fill out this space uh nicely with with other things so a lot of my funko stuff has kind of gone here uh this is one of the reasons i had to narrow my focus to for funko to typically vader uh, there are other this is just one room in the house uh fungo is definitely spread out from there but uh you know if it's a vader one i, I definitely want to keep it in this room uh, closer to the collection including the hikari uh so fubi uh i think is that what that's the line there were seven of them produced so these are the seven variants uh then when they were doing the the box the smuggler's bounty box i think there were four or five of these smaller ones so i ended up having to, to get all those for the collection jack specific also released uh, a nice um hologram vader that made its way there uh that's like a bigger version of the jack specific one there and there's an even larger one that's at the entrance of the room See here, a couple of... That one I just got as a, a gift uh, from someone who was just getting rid of some old stuff. Um, these are uh, Micro Machines. Uh, Destiny Decider. That one still has a battery because Jedi uses it. Some kite stuff. There's a new Darth Vader. Um, I haven't plugged that in. I haven't opened it yet. But a Darth Vader uh, lava lamp. Uh, Darth Vader inbox. Uh, uh, complete inbox uh, helmet. And uh, so I've got one inbox and I got one out of the box. And then the Darth Vader clapper back there, some extra stuff. Darth Vader pizza cutter. Some of the stockings, some of the more recent stockings. Uh, this is a Darth Vader, um, a uh, Christmas decor thing that you could put in the lawn, but it worked there. In these bins, I got to be careful not to knock anything over. These are some of the larger stockings that I couldn't fit. Uh, some, some of the looser figures that I had. These are troopers, not all of which I'm in love with. But these, uh, a lot of these figures, they're extra, but they were, I think... Originally came from a smoker's house, so I keep them separate. Um, but still, you know, they're Star Wars figures, so they deserve love too. Uh, I will, I will adopt Star Wars figures. I will. Uh, looser Funko Pop vinyl found their way there. A lot of them thrifted, so a lot of the stuff you see, uh, I may not have, I may have picked up secondhand. They may not have been opened by me. Uh, I just like see them in a, in a bag while I'm thrifting. Well, I'll just grab that. Uh, I went back, and I wish I would have picked these up when they were originally released, but uh, some of the, the comic or Legends Star Wars characters like Darth Ma uh, Malaval, Darth Bane, um, Talon, Revan, Plagueis, uh, Malgus, Crate, um, uh, Lumia, who I remember from the comics growing up. So they, they, they've, they've, they've come here. I, I think... I want to get uh, another one of... Uh, so I'm looking for these extended universe, expanded universe characters, which may eventually come canon, or become canon. Uh, there's one that I had... Oh, Tracta. I want to find another Tracta to put back there as well. So sorry if I'm not getting close enough for you guys and gals. They just found their way there. So, okay, now I'm reminded. I got Please remind me, I need to get a Tracta. Love the Imperial Shuttle. This is a newer uh, a die... Oh, there we go. Chris... Pointed at the thing you're talking about, the Hot Wheels one, and then they, they started to release a larger scale, which I'm not I'm not going to be a completist on as far as those are concerned. Darth Vader's activity book. This is uh, n new in the sense that it was not used. 
but it just went into, ended up here. Uh, Return of the Jedi, Darth Vader puzzle, fidget spinner. These are all thrifted Vaders. These are a lot. A lot of these are like duplicates of the. Remember the original Darth Vader shelf that I showed you over here, right? Uh, these are all thrifted down here. Just like, oh, here's a Darth Vader in a bag. I'll put it there. Uh, Darth Vader fig pins. There are two or three of them, including there's my USB hub and a gold edition. That was a limited edition. Um, so yes, look tech. I have. I have technology in here as well. I keep it there, but, you know, gotta, gotta have room for the Vaders. Uh, some Star Wars albums, Vader stuff uh, back here. Um, finds they, they find their way in places. Uh, autograph to Chris Perillo. The Force is with you, or with, the Force is with us. Darth Vader is Dave Prowse. That's one of the autographs. The other autograph, that I have sent several, but the other one was customized. This is on a napkin. Someone got that for me. Dave Prowse is Darth Vader. Uh, other autographs up there, though not personalized. Uh, this one was personalized uh, from him before, of course, he, he left us. Ooh, hang on, this emoji fell. There's a 3D printed snowflake. Put it there. Um, oh, wow, nothing fell over. Big Bad Dad, big mug there. Uh, what else do we have? Funko, 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 Funko. There is the die cast, but the regular one, not the variant. Remember I showed you at the beginning, I have the variant uh, back there under one of the Lego busts. Um, Funko, newer pop. The pops are starting to stack up, so this one may end up moving. I'm not sure where it's going to move to yet. Uh, pick those up thrifting once. Uh, those clones there. Uh, up on top, a variety of things. Bigger things. Funko. Uh, various figures. My Star Wars at at Driver collection started kind of in here, uh, including a lot of variants. The rare black glove one that's modern. Smaller ones. Uh, my first Star Wars figure right here. This is the this is the crown jewel, the Adat -Ad driver, complete with accessory. That is all. That is mine. That is the thing that basically started it all when I was a kid. That one, right? That literal one for ninety nine cents is what started it all. That's that as a kid when I was a kid back in the eighties. So people were like, "Well, oh, Chris, why'd you get into Star Wars? What are you talking about, dude? You weren't even born when I was into it." So, uh, anyway, at at drivers, bigger ones, smaller ones, uh, Lego, a lot of the original Funko, uh, Vader's were there. Uh, the blocks, uh, that was a, a Funko thing. Some Darth Vader cereal, that was a UK. I, I'm a little nervous about that. I may end up having to take it, uh, the cereal out of the box. I'm kind of looking for an indication as to what I should do with that. Uh, other Vader things. How, see, look, this, this to me is a good shelf. It just feels well filled out. This is where I'm saying a lot of the smaller Vader's that I have you know, right here, like in the, I'll come to these shelves, back to these shelves, but they really work well on the front of shelves, right? There's the, there's the Darth Vader. Oh, hang on. Give me a second. And, uh, Ushis, those are Ushis, yeah. Another Darth Vader Mighty Bean. Uh, Darth Vader bath foam, just in case I need to take a bath. Vintage uh, glass. Also, I had a couple, of, there's a couple of the vintage tumblers up there as well, Empire and Star Wars. Um, smaller things, Darth Vader Domino. There's a couple of the uh, the, the Funko um, uh, holiday calendar faders. Uh, that's a 3D printed Darth Buddha. Seeing if anything else really jumps out. The Return of the Jedi Darth Vader uh, album. Darth Vader band aids. Got a couple of those. You'll see. I mean, sometimes the, you'll see like, oh, he's got two of them. Sometimes I just get more than one. Right. The Lego Star Wars in here. Star Wars lipsticks back there. Uh, there's the newest Darth Vader Lego minifigure. Uh, with uh, the, the Scarif Beach on there, uh, on his... <gasps> Chris. Give me a second. I think on the back, yeah, you can see um, the uh, tower, the Darth Vader tower there, and a Death Star. That's kind of nice. So all the unique Lego Darth Vaders that I have, including the Christmas sweater, the Santa Vader, everything, have pretty much come here onto this shelf. Uh, and I'll pan back. Just to give you a full view again, in terms of where we are, before going back in again. In these bins, I, I hadn't found a place for certain things, so they just kind of ended up here and here, including, remember the old Dixie Cups? This, You know, this one might be kind of fun to keep out. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, to keep that one out, because I love those things. Um, and the, I have a few. The, the wax is not something you really want to have in your mouth, though. Um... That never really went together very well. This Millennium Falcon Eraser I had as a kid. Still obviously intact. A lot of the shorter Vader's, uh, unlicensed uh, Vader Minion. Uh, a lot of the shorter ones have made their way into th these these cubby holes. Cubbies? Cubby holes? I don't know. Um, uh, a 3D printed Duck Vader. 
Um, uh, there's a token from a Star Wars Monopoly. This I want to say this one was licensed. This is the this is one that came with a dar uh, a um, one of the uh, uh, the uh, Kylo Ren that 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 mel melted Darth Vader helmet. Uh, game tokens, some of the uh, micro collection Darth Vader uh, 001 um, uh, issue uh, uh, from the comics. Okay, there. So okay, hang on. I knew I had one out. Okay, so this is why I have the spare one in here. Just gonna, I'm gonna put you back. Chris, don't get ahead of yourself. What are you thinking? Uh, over here, some of the uh, the the minis, uh, not minis, but the uh, what they call it? the vin vinylmation Vaders. And I think they had just these four. Maybe there was a fifth one that I never got. Um, and I had their sabers at one time, and then they got they got lost in the shuffle. I also have. Hang on, this is not good. Well, it's not good. I'm just gonna put that there. Legoland. Star Wars days because I'm putting I'm, I wanted to put it close to the to the Vaders over here and the because it's Lego so now I got more space back there for something uh, other Star Wars things including uh, the another Star Wars Slinky licensed uh, shorter shorter items including Q tips uh, the Darth Vader Tsum Tsum they stopped doing that pretty quick the Tsum Tsums seemingly quick uh, all right now we are at this point in the room um, so I got some coasters up here. Uh, again, just figures that find their way. Um, Kokeshi? Is that the name of the... There's a certain style of, for that figurine. And I can't... I think that's what it is. Um, that was painted. Uh, some toppers. Purple prints have made their way here. Uh, some vintage items. Now in here, some... Sli vin uh, like, there's a Vader on top. It's it's slime. That's licensed Darth Vader slime. Darth Vader soap. That is a vintage soap. Um, I thought I had... And I, I, I know I moved them. Um... I have the uh, the vintage uh, uh, cards. You know, I I'll come to those, or I hope to. The Atari Empire Strikes Back game. A lot of Darth Vader um, books in here. Uh, Darth Vader Valentine's tins or containers. Uh, more Darth Vader books. Some uh, smaller Star Wars books. Darth Vader sponge. Down at the bottom, some Darth Vader Halloween items. Art kits. Uh, stuffies. Bins. Dolls. Uh, Darth Vader... Bath mat again. Uh, another Darth Vader articulated figure. This is the, the arcade cabinet that's been here for years. The CRT is pretty much dead. So here's the thing. I'm looking for someone in the Seattle area who can help me rebuild this cabinet. Like, it's an old PC, not connected to the internet, Windows XP Service Pack 2. Uh, I basically have to gut it. I, I want to keep the cabinet, but I basically have to replace the screen because I think it's a capacitor shot. So I, I may have to replace that screen underneath the CRT with an LCD and basically redo the whole thing, like you know, with with a new computer, with a new this, that, and the other thing. I need to find somebody to help me with that because I it's it's well beyond my what my scope, what it is that I can do. So if you know someone in the greater Seattle area who can help me rebuild this cabinet, the innards of this cabinet, I am all ears because I've been wanting to do that for some some amount of time. Uh, some Darth Vader masks hanging off the side. Um, there are some miniature cabinets, Space Paranoids and Tron. These are custom. These are not licensed. They're kind of neat. Some larger Star Wars helmets up there. Oops. Oh, sorry. I missed all this. Um, some in here, some little, uh, Phantom Menace dinosaur or creature toys. When people want me to put on a helmet in the stream, I'll put on that Darth Vader helmet. Just, it was thrifted. In here, if I thrift figures or have figures that I might want to open, they go into this giant bin in the middle of the floor. Jedi likes pulling them out and having fun with them, so it doesn't bother me a bit. Uh, those are for those are for play. There's a lot of stuff around here that is, is, is for play. I just didn't have a, a place to, to put them. I mean, who among us does not want to have a, a bin full of Star Wars figures? What am I going to use this space for anyway? Like, Star Wars uh, and figures. Um, let's go this way. All right, uh, where I'm, I'm looking around thinking, where, where, where do I want to uh, start you here? Uh, the licensed, um, um, when, I was, when I was younger, I kind of fell in love with the ethos of the Steinbach Nutcrackers. They released uh, Darth Vader, so that's that one of them. The larger one ended up there. This is um, uh, this, this wood piece here. This is an original art that I licensed. Another Darth Vader Nutcracker, not a Steinbach, though. Uh, smaller pieces. This, when we start getting to certain areas, you've seen a lot of this stuff before. There are the, the wax packs that I was talking about with Darth Vader on them. Uh, I got, so the, this shelf uh, is kind of nostalgic for me. I've got some vintage Star Wars. I've got Garbage Pail Kids wax packs, 1st through 15th edition. Some uh, Lego kits that were originally modeled by um, 
uh, Chris McVeigh, who ended up working for the Lego Group and taking some of his designs and blowing them up. Uh, the, the the NES that he he did, the Atari twenty six hundred that he did, and the C sixty four. I also just got Ravage. This is my first Transformers ever, really licensed, like G one Transformers ever in my entire life. Um, that was the one that I wanted, and I, because he's small, I just liked him. Uh, the other Transformers that I have that are licensed pretty much are the Super 7 5 POA. Those are not in this room. Um, I have my G.I. Joe uh, 5 POA collection in one of those bins over there. I'm not going to pull that out right now because, again, I'm trying to be expedient with time, but to show you everything we got. Uh, but I did pick up this Retgar because, uh, and I, I had another one, but I realized, oh, I need a different Retgar. I need the Weird Al Yankovic Retgar because Weird Al Yankovic ended up uh, voicing a, a Retgar in, in, a, in a cartoon series. So I've got cheese sandwich right now kind of behind there. Uh, a couple of cheese sandwiches up here because Weird Al Yankovic ended up voicing them as well. Um, what else? Uh, a, uh, this is, I got from my grandfather's uh, workshop after he passed away. I mean, it's just a, it's a throwaway, right? But like, this, this, when I got that, this became, this entire room became what I called my play shop, right? He had a workshop. I have a play shop. He had tools and like jars of like nuts and bolts. I have, so he had, he had nuts and bolts, but I have drawers of figures and accessories. So you tell me what my grandkids are going to want more. Um, so I want to have grandkids. That's, that's the goal. Uh, down here. Love this shelf as well. I think I went through everything there. Oh, there's the Darth Vader comb. I probably want to get another one of those too while I can. I'm, I'm making mental notes of things I want to get duplicates of just in case while I can. Um, uh, Darth Vader, uh, the, the mess-free marker. I loved those things as kids. Guess and knows. Uh, different containers. This became my colorful Vader shelf because they'd released various colors of Darth Vader uh, over the years and I needed a place to, to put them licensed, right? The white one, the red one, the silver one, the blue one, uh, red, you know, the, 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 I, I didn't get all of the, um, the, the prototypes cause they released like what, 24 of them and I'm missing like four, uh, but a color, this is the colorful Vader shelf, including the licensed, uh, uh, uh Play-Doh stuff. Uh, some of this, th that's a resin, uh, Vader. So that's not licensed. Uh, some of the stuff not available in the States, got it online. Also have, uh, like Phantom Star Killer. This is a Super 7, but it's like, like a Darth Vader. And then, um, someone by the name of Boylan Pop or his handle Boylan Pop, he did a custom Darth Vader Cobra Commander, uh, in resin. And this is like easily one of my favorites. I love that mashup. Also have Darth Vader from the planet Vulcan here on, on the shelf, a, a 5 POA and then the, the Playmobil as well. Um, because you remember Back to the Future, so they ended up here too. Uh, down here, uh, pretty much the definitive Ewok shelf. Um, the the do I have the full? I believe that should be the full run of Dulocks, the Scouts, the King and Queen. Uh, all of the Ewoks, both vintage and modern, I believe. Teak is back there as well. He's in the corner. Uh, they just they ended up here, and so this is fun uh, to to have. And I don't think I may not have some of the newer vintage collection uh, uh, Ewoks up here because they're kind of duplicate. But I, I may end up going back and, and getting uh, there's there was a new yeah that may be the new Paplu. I'm not sure. Uh, down here I've got the, again when when Jedi starts tearing through things, sometimes things get moved around. Not a big deal. I don't have a Thrawn collection going on, but if I were, it'd be there. There's not a lot of Thrawns out there. There's only one Thrawn that's missing, the, the five POA from Rebels, and then maybe the Thrawn, the Lego Thrawn that I have as well. I don't know if I'd put him there, though. Uh, Baron Papanoidia, so that's um, George Lucas. The Nemodians, I always kind of like the look of. Uh, some Imperial Dignitaries. Chewbacca, for some reason. <laughs> for some reason, I've got a Wookiee shelf down here with, with Porg and whatnot, so the Wookiees, and you'll see Darth Vader stuff back there as well. I just started standing up Wookiees. I'm like, okay. And then he kind of spilled out. Uh, all right, let me move this way. There's the Emperor's Royal Guard that I scanned. I showed you earlier. Uh, various smaller figurines. These may end up, you know, going not just on acrylic, but again, so I see I've got a lot of space here. So I need to be able to get like acrylic risers that, that can meet, you know, go, to go up there and allow me to stand some of these pieces up or have more room to place things on top of. And I've kind of done that Kind of like with that kind of shelf there, if only to maximize space. I'll get to there in a second. Uh, what about you, dog face? Uh, there, you know, Yarrow Poof? 
Um, and uh, this was this is a figure that uh, oh uh, I'm blanking on his name right now. It's right on the t I know Yarrow. Oops, knocking over the three D printed protocol droids there. Uh, ooh, wow! I'm surprised that one's not falling over. How is that one not falling over right now? Okay, let's 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 not tempt fate. Um, got some nine numbs over here, including this one in the front. Did you did you even notice? Those are licensed back there, vintage and modern. This is a 3D printed 9num. This is a, a Play Action Toys uh, model, 3D printed in different filament colors. So I have 3D print. So my 9num's, well, the, the, the old Kenner commercial called them 9num, new Kenner, new from Kenner. Oh, looking at at driver, random. <laughs> you never know. Uh, a lot of 3D printed 3PO's I thought was kind of fun to have in various colors, including this one, which is UV reactive filament. Um, oh, uh, I'm gonna. It's gonna come to me. Dog face. It, uh, it's. What about you, dog face? Did you know this was a council? Remember from Robot Chicken? And, okay, anyway. Um, found a lot of rare versions of the uh, um, the uh, Galactic um, Galactic Heroes. Hasbro ran for a while, so they've ended up here. They originally started up here for Jedi to play with. Uh, I don't think I have all of them, but I have a good many of them. This Admiral Akbar looks a lot like the vintage Admiral Akbar. This is not the one I had as a kid, uh, but this is 3D printed. This one right here. Pretty close, I would say, to uh, to the original one, the newer Akbar. So Akbar stuff, or Mon Cala, started uh, populating here, including uh, Nadar Veb uh, back here, and a couple of pops that were open, the newer ones, uh, various Galactic Heroes, the rare, rare creature ones. That's that one. Uh, here, I don't... I'm really kind of upset... <laughs> that the only Knights of Ren figures that we really got were the Disney figurines and or the Lego ones. So I ended up chasing those down on, what, BrickSeek or BrickLink uh, to get the individual uh, Knights of Ren. Um, the only one they released in the vintage collection was this one. So I'm like, dude, where are the other ones? Come on, for real? So I really want vintage collection to double down on some of this stuff. I really do, because I'm not into the Black Series as much. I want the vintage collection. I want that scale. So these are the Knights of Ren back here. Different Vader's, Vader Crayons, Vader Fruit Snacks, Vader Cheez-Its, Vader Candies, a 3D printed Tiki Vader. Although that Tiki Vader, now that I'm looking, um, I better not do it right now. Uh, but it may, may, may make its way up to this shelf because Emperor's Royal Guard stuff started happening here. That's a 3D scan. Uh, an, a vintage Emperor. I don't think that's the one I had for send away, send away. A very rare uh, Jedi Temple Guard. Wish I would have picked up more of those because those are very, very expensive now. Uh, no Sith Trooper on this... Oh, I do have a Sith Trooper. Never mind. Uh, Emperor's Royal Guards, Praetorian Guards uh, in here. Um, there's a Black Series back there. 3D printed one. Uh, the red stuff. Uh, just it just it They just started going somewhere. That's where they went. Kylo Ren, this shelf was pretty much put into place right around the time that The Force Awakens uh, came about. Uh, and so there's the Kylo Ren shelf. Not a Kylo Ren. I don't know if this... I mean, I have a feeling it's going to stay. I mean, it hasn't really... I haven't needed any extra shelf space. Um, and I liked the look of Kylo Ren, at least, you know, with his with his helmet on. I've always been more of a fan of, of, of characters and creatures with helmets. I got a random Mando. Um, various things like bowling pins. This is an officially licensed Spira. Spira? The token from Galaxy's Edge. Uh, that, this this here is 3D printed. Oh, look at that. See, this is why I gotta have... A, I, ooh, that paint came off. Um, that's why I have to have items, so it keeps the dust from falling on the uh, falling on that. These are 3D printed tokens in a gold filament. That's a licensed one, though, yeah. Uh, coins, various coins, including where you can do penny presses and quarter presses. Some night lights, uh, the Darth Vader helmet. A uh, light that is plugged in still. Uh, lava lamp. I don't know if that's plugged in. Um, various lamps. Uh, a mirror. How you doing? Uh, some window clings. A Jabba shelf, one of the first Star Wars shelves that I kind of put together in this room years and years ago. It's evolved somewhat. Um, you know, I put characters that go beyond. I originally built it to be like just uh, Jabba's entertainment, right? Just okay. Just is gonna. I'm just gonna have you know the dancers and 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 maybe the dan you know the the bands and everything and then over the years I'm like oh I need to see 3PO oh I need a Boba Fett and I've got a Chris Perillo frozen in carbonite model back there that's by Bugman 
Um, this the the backdrop was a, a recent playset that had been released. Uh, I've got some extraneous Jabba uh, Jabba's denizens in here. J random Jawas, including a, a three at least one three D printed Jawa. Actually, two. That's three D printed as well. See, if you do it right with the right. Hang on, that's not three D printed. Never mind. Um, this one is definitely 3D printed. I can tell by the filament, but the other Jawas that I've done, they look really similar. I threw myself off. I apologize. Uh, more of the Galactic Heroes. A lot of these are the ones without human likeness. Um, there, this is not, this one's 3D printed for sure. That's, um, Jackson, um, uh, one of the, uh, the ones from the, uh, the Marvel comics. A lot of the Galactic Heroes ended up on this shelf, including a pre I found, um, if only because I figured Jedi would play with them. I have no reason that to take them away from the shelf. Needed ways to, or a place to put some extra droids, so I used, I reused this. This is the kind of thing I'm looking for in this room to maximize space. And I may end up, I've got a floating shelf up there, we'll get to it, but I may end up putting a floating shelf up there as well, a smaller one above the mirror. You know, you got, you got space, you got to use it wisely. A lot of females in the Star Wars uh, galaxy have ended up here because Jedi sometimes will play with those, including a baby Leia. Uh, R2KT. Um, some of them, they, they fall over easy, easily because Jedi just, like, she doesn't stand them up again. I'm like, all right, that's fine. Uh, some Yodas ended up coming down this direction. Um, some uh, Darth Vader slippers. A couple of Darth Vader transformers. I don't know if the, these are all the Darth... Or th these aren't the only two Darth Vader transformers. Like I said, I, there was another one that was over there that I had on a shelf that I may end up moving up here. Uh, Darth Vader... Uh, suitcases or roller cases right they just needed to go somewhere i've got some bags hanging off the 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 the, hand, the handlebars the door this is this door is never going to shut again uh the, this is the big uh jack specific uh vader this is huge tall like it's it comes up to my nipples well not even well hang on uh yeah right uh, my nipples are a little taller or they're on my body they're, i'm not saying i have tall nipples i'm saying that they're about nipple height to me um that's a different one of Vader. This one's got like a swinging arm action. Uh, this is a newer Vader saber that they had on, on D uh, Disney's uh, website. Uh, on uh, the outside, I've got a Battlefront Trooper that was thrifted, and I wish I found uh, another. I wish I got the second one. Um, that that they had. You know what? Sorry, I'm looking again. I'm like, all right, hang on. I'm just gonna mix it up a bit, even though there, there's a there's a plug. Or an outlet. Uh, I'm gonna put that there. I think I feel that I feel that works. Oh yeah, it looks. So I'm not. I'm a little past my room right now. But like Lego swatches for 3D printing with the filaments. These are little Lego studs that all come come together. There's the first Justin Hillgrove painting that I fell in love with. That that made me adore the artist. Now speaking of Justin Hillgrove, we have Justin Hillgrove uh, originals hanging up at least in two places in the room, including that one, a Darth Vader scarecrow. Scarecrow. If I forget to do that, uh, a couple of Darth Vader doormats. They're here. And I kind of have them staggered. Of course, when I move in and out of the room, sometimes they move around. Those are the shoes that I wore when I went to Lucasfilm and did the thing on the Star Wars um, live stream. So those are very special to me. Uh, I've got some Star Wars dice in here from some games. Another Star Wars um, wheelie briefcase, suitcase thing. Star Wars apron. Uh, again, some droids. And I may end up trying to find a way, and I don't know how to do it because I don't have a lot of clearance, but... To just maximize the space in these in these in these windows here. So astromechs sometimes find their way there. I don't want to skip this this floating shelves, um, cups, plates mostly. Uh, some other containers. There's some uh, Vader vitamins as well. Extraneous things that find their way there. Uh, and then at the top, I, I don't want to miss this because this is probably my one of the favorite parts of the room. Uh, I got these baseball bat cases before they came with LED strips inside, but what you see there, if you've missed it in earlier tours, what you see there is the full run of vintage Kenner figures, complete with accessories. So I'm going to turn off the light for a second, and I'm going to turn on this light here. You might be able to see them a little better this way. Uh, they, that way you don't have the, the other ceiling lights bouncing off. Uh, these are C9 condition, complete with accessories, C9, C10. I went back and did the full run, uh, no repro at all. And hopefully this, hopefully it's bright enough. Oh, it gets a little darker over here now. Um, all the way through Yak Face. Uh, Blue Snaggletooth is up there as well. And uh, that that took a couple of years to do, but I'm, I'm very grateful. Very happy to have done that run. Vintage. Uh, that was something that I, as a kid, I completed the collection minus Yak Face because I didn't know it existed. 
at the time, uh, I had a full collection of Star Wars figures minus Yak Face and Blue Snag. I didn't, I didn't have, I only saw Blue Snags once as a kid, didn't know it was an official thing until years later. Uh, but that, there's Blue Snags right, right about there. Um, standing next to Red. Um, that's a, a hollow cheek Tusken Raider that I had organically, which was really surprising for me. There are variants uh, of, of Star Wars figures. Um, here I found a lot of my blacker Star Wars figures just started coming together. And so I just kind of went with it. I'm like, sure, why not? Including the new Purge Trooper Phase 2, which I adore. Purge Tro Phase 1 Purge Trooper, I don't like. Phase 2, I am absolutely in love with. Unfortunately, it's just a part of a three-pack. So I'm going to have to wait for that to go on sale to get more of those. Because this is just, ooh, dude. Uh, the Dark Trooper, I'm also in love with. Uh, that is the the newer one um, from the smaller scale that they're currently doing. Uh, there's the Black Series one. And then I should probably also put the... This is where the other one might want to end up, the one that I have over by my monitor. This is a 3D printed um, Emperor's Royal Guard, the Shadow Guard. I have the red one there. Easy enough to print in, in, in different filaments. Um, ooh, the Boba Fett. I don't know. This Boba Fett should have gone here. Um... Sorry about sorry about that. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, let's put that. I may have to move that too. Uh, not there yet. Uh, 3D printed items, some smaller Star Wars figurines, figures, uh, Shadow Guard, Shadow Troopers, Black Series, um, Tie Pilots, Imperial Guard, Imperial Gunner. One of my favorite vintage figures ever. Um, this this is a vintage Imperial Gunner here too. Obviously different from the one that's that's in the definitive collection up, uh, up upstairs up there. There's the Justin Hill Grove. Again, that's a, a Scarecrow, Vader. I, I saw it, I'm like, I had to have it. I had to. Uh, Boba Fett shelf, including a prototype, prototype Boba Fett, um, when they were working on doing uh, a Boba Fett style of Sofubi? I, I want to say that's what they were called, Hikari? Um, they, when I went to do the first tour of the Fungo headquarters, they gave that to me. The guy who was head of marketing gave that to me. So it is a prototype of the prototype, it's pretty much the only proto that I have, so I'm very happy uh, to have that. Of course, I've also got some prototype Boba Fetts that I printed. Various vehicles, very small pieces. Boba Fett, Boba Fett, Boba Fett. This is pretty much the all Boba Fett shelf. Pretty much, including Fetties there. Uh, then I've got uh, another shelf here that you know, some Battlefronts ended up making their way here. And I'm pretty sure all of those are licensed. I'm not... One of those may not be licensed. I know the front one... One of the two, I know someone sent to me, but those, one of those may be licensed, one of them may not be. And then, because I love the uh, the Scout Trooper, uh, I wanted to, to have a space for him. So you see a nice mix of 3D printed, vintage, modern, Black Series, uh, Hero Builders, etc. Uh, and Admiral Radis. Now, the reason why the Admiral Radis is on this shelf is it's actually autographed by Stephen Stanton. And then opposite of that, I have a Captain Phasma. Now, why is this here? Because this Captain Phasma is autographed by people who worked at Hasbro, specifically on the figure line, uh, including Steve Evans. So I, those are those are really special to me because they are uh, they're they're autographed. Uh, I have a cl uh, an exploded clone trooper shelf, a uh, mix again of vintage collection and uh, a black series, and they they keep releasing new. Um, uh, vintage, I'm very glad they keep releasing new clones in the the this uh, the, this this scale, the 3.75 inch scale. Uh, they've made their way here. Uh, down here, there's another one of those shelves that I may have to fill out with some smaller stuff, and I don't know where the how, how that's going to look. It may end up Astromex may be going in there. Uh, I ended up putting 3D clones, Phase Two clones here. Maybe some I see a Death Trooper, um, some Battle Droids, various filament colors, some Wookies. Down here, I love this shelf. Showed it briefly, I think, in a, a short around Christmas time. Um, Hasbro's done now two years of these holiday-themed uh, uh, characters, both their Black Series, I say, I'm glad they're doing it. I wish it was Vintage Collection, uh, but they also have smaller characters, including uh, BD, uh, a little uh, um, a mouse droid in there, uh, some Porg. That's a Halloween Porg, because back, where is it? There, back there, I've got the Wookiee and the... Uh, now, you can see why I want to have a light. Now, here, if I can, there we go. i got to be careful about keeping this light on when I do this, because, again, I'm afraid that the battery is going to, like, blow. And I want to kind of keep this going contiguously. Uh, a couple of Jedi found their way there. Plo Koon and Kip Fisto. I was like, oh, yeah, I'll put the Jedi there. And then I just, I was like, those are the two that I want there. Uh, some magnets. 
on this side with this, this calendar. Uh, Ahsoka Tano, this is the Disney release, not the Galaxy of Adventures, uh, or I'm sorry, not Galaxy, um, Forces of Destiny. That's the Forces of Destiny Sabine complete. I want a Forces of Destiny Ahsoka to put next to her, but unfortunately I did not get an extra one to open. Jedi kind of took the other one that I gave her apart, uh, but this is the newer one, so having those two together I thought was kind of nice. Uh, these are newer shelves that, that were kind of begun to being filled out and just never, I, I haven't really optimized this space necessarily. Puzzles, controllers, uh, the Barbie, uh, um, Vader Barbie. This is a, this is a licensed uh, melted Darth Vader helmet. I should probably keep them all together. Uh, candy, puzzles, some of the puzzles... They didn't fit, and so I just you know moved them around best I could. Um, anyway, the, the, these shelves were put in most recently. Uh, some melted crayon Vader's on a Vader plate. Vader flakes, not an official cereal. Honey Nut Cheerios. I think that is a complete box. Yeah, that that is an unopened box with the Vader on it. Uh, Blader, Blader, Vader Black series. Usually, I'll have one open and one in the container some uh, officially licensed vader clone my favorite one is one you can't get anymore unfortunately uh some coins not vader uh, the keys to the arcade um this is a, a licensed pyrex a vintage vader folder um vader masks uh some uh, a vintage cup that i should actually i now i have two of them i have one you probably missed it up there I have another one there and look another vintage Va actually is this a no is this a vintage vader I have to look because they now have the retro. I, I think that's a vintage one. Um, a Mandalorian shelf with Grogu. Because, man, you can't, you just cannot get enough Mando. Like, seriously, some Beskar 3D printed uh, ingots. This is a licensed Beskar ingot uh, made out of metal. These are not. These are plastic. They're PLA. Uh, styled differently. Not, not, uh, this is different filament color. Uh, let's see here. So I'm, I've got a lot of random Mandos in here, including, uh, 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 the various Vislas, Shay, uh, some retro Mando, the 3D printed Mando figure that was released, a 3D printed uh, Grogu. On top, I've got the Star Wars arcade game there, as well as the, the sit down, some Shadow Troopers up here. There's another, there's a smaller Chris Perillo, one of the first things I 3D printed. Very dusty um, figurines, uh, Star Wars, obviously. Uh, Shadow Troopers, there's a Han Solo Carbonite back there. There's the Purge Trooper, Phase 2 Purge Trooper Black series. I was talking about that. Uh, the Silver Stormtrooper. Love those styles. Uh, droids started making their way onto this shelf, as well as the Black, uh, the Bad Batch up here. Um, Gonk droids. See, I've got I've got some extras that I put around here as well. Uh, various droids, including the, there's the special Gonk, the Holiday Gonk. Um, I didn't realize there were so many available, but I've 3D printed some Gonks. These are some licensed Gonks. There's a nice mixture. There's a, a vintage IG-88 that made its way. Uh, retro collection, non-remakes. Um, so, like these, the, like a retro-style Grogu, retro-style Kenobi, Mando, Ahsoka. They're here for right now, like a retro Tarkin. That's kind of the one that started it all here. That is not a, that is not a modern, or that's not a redo of the Luke uh, X-Wing. That's the Luke Snowspeeder that came with the game. The only one I'm missing from this set is the retro... Um, a Stormtrooper exclusive that came with the M Monopoly set. I just wasn't willing to pay the extra just to have like a, a slightly darker version of a of a of a, a, a vintage Stormtrooper sculpt. Um, but anyway, those are the retro style. I love the retro Vader too. The retro Vader is a lot of fun, uh, and I may end up picking up more of those, especially if they they go on sale in the short term. Um, there's a, a another another Darth Vader that made its way there. Uh, a, a sideshow collectibles when they sent that to me. Hang on. Got that Vader being jealous. Come on, you're gonna. Are you being are you being jealous right now? Is that is that what's going on? Come on, stand up. Don't move. Um, Sideshow collectibles Vader. Very nice. I've got some various Mando back there. Uh, not newer, unfortunately. Uh, so I, those are on the rarer side of things. Uh, here I've got the credit collections. These are all part of the Black Series uh, credit collections series. Uh, and I only wanted the Black Series uh, cl credit collections because of all these things. You can 3D print these easily, but these are licensed little tokens, licensed tokens. And now I'm convincing uh, Play Action Toys to do, it with his supports, I'm convincing him to basically, um, these, these would normally be thrown away. These are supports made to make whatever's being 3D printed so that they don't, whatever's being 3D printed doesn't, you know, 
fall down because you can't 3D print in midair. So otherwise, these would just be blank slabs. And I said, you know, you can make these, you know, kind of like Imperial tokens. You can make these like little credits. And that's exactly what he did. So I got a few of those. I just 3D printed this last night. It's a vintage style gonk droid. The, the legs articulate and everything. This is something that I have sitting out because I had it elsewhere. And I'm like, oh, I need to find a place. These are the, uh, the Chris Perillo Maker Coins as modeled by um, Fix'em Dude. You can download and 3D print those as well for free. Easy to do. Uh, what else do we have? Credit collection, Vader, Vader. Okay, um, I, I really, well, there's some, that's, that's outside the room. This is out, that does, this, these, these figures, they, they don't count as a part of the room tour, nor do these 3D printed busts and figurines. They, they do not count. So, so ignore this part. This is not a part of the room tour, okay? Okay, everybody? I just want to be very clear about that. This is the room tour. So this is what, it's like when you, okay, just imagine, you're walking up the stairs, and you walk in, you see this Vader, and you're like, oh, whoa, this is what everybody does. They're like, oh my God, and their eyes don't know where to look. They're like, oh my God, they see an arcade machine. I'm like, oh my God, look at these figures, and everything just jumps at them. And they're like, oh, wow, like, oh. And then they come in further, and like, they, they look here, and their eyes, and then they look over here, and they're like, oh my God, there's more. Like, that. that's what they do. Everyone does the same thing, and they're like, yeah, I got that, and they tell them stories about every one of these little pieces, and like, oh, are those the original? I'm like, yes, those are the originals, and then they, they just, they're, they're, they're like kids in a candy store when they come in here, although, no, 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 this is, there's nothing for sale, um, so then they're like, oh my god, there's more over here, oh wow, like, oh my god, that's really neat, what's this, how did you do, like, and then they, they see, oh, so you're live streaming right now, you're live streaming on YouTube, you're doing that right now, yes, yes, I am, I'm doing that, I'm doing it, I'm lit. During this room tour, this entire two hours that I've been recording this video, I've been streaming my audio, at least, live. So people have been able to hear behind the scenes before the tour is posted. You could do it too. Head over to, well, you're already on my YouTube channel. Just click over to see it live. Turn on the notifications. It's going 24-7. People are still, ga look, I didn't have to tell them. They're doing gaming. I probably have to admit more people in because people have had to drop out, but I've been kind of busy, you know, paying attention to this this video, if only to let everybody know I'm live streaming on YouTube and you can join me. And you can, look, it's I want to sit down and watch the guy do a, a, who is that? Hera, who's doing a Star Wars VR chat because it's Star Wars Sunday today, the day I'm recording this. So, yes. Hey, you know, I wonder, Lockdown, could you fly the Star Wars plane? You know, uh, who was it? Uh, Lostanza? Did, no, J J who had... There was an R2-D2 and a BB-8 plane. Could you do the BB-8 plane? That would be a great thing to do. Um, oh, looks like my um, my 3D print is done, although I don't know what the heck happened to my Aki. Those are his uh, his tentacles, uh, but I'll have to take care of that. And again, MakerDex going live on Twitch, 24-7 uh, as well. Live on Twitch, 24-7 with MakerDeck, live on YouTube in this very channel, the Locker Gnome YouTube channel. I'm going to do my best to reboot Locker Gnome. Need your help. Join me. Do things on the desktop, share your screen alongside other geeks and nerds, and we're going to make Locker Gnome happen together. So can you can you help me with that? Thanks again. If, if, if you did, I, I hope some people watched through this video. Just give it a like, give it a thumbs up, give it a comment. Tell me what you like. Uh, tell me what you need a link for. Uh, I'll see if I can dig it up. Certainly if I can get a referral credit for that, it'd be great. If nothing else, if nothing else, I will see you over on the live stream because it's happening. Oh, look. Okay, so I guess someone is on the back end uh, managing things. Uh, so we've got Mike coming in. Or he turned off his camera and then popped back on because he was already uh, admitted into it. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that's it. So uh, as I'm prone to say in in a lot of my, my live streams, is a, let me see. I'm going to turn this around. I don't know. I can't really. I love you. I appreciate you. But at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices and may the force be with you always. You want me to say it, right? We'll eat you later. But we'll also e you <laughs> or see you on live.perillo.com. Now, we'll eat you later.